How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? It's time. It's been a long time. Speaking of, here we're uh, with Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne. So it should be quite a bit of fun. We're going to be doing some 1v1 games, and if we get enough people who can actually get into some custom games, we'll certainly join some of those later as well towards the end. But just very relaxed the night before the faction war. So tomorrow we're going to be having our first faction war in Total War Warhammer 3. Should be quite a bit of fun. we got eight great players lined up and ready to go, and uh, that's pretty much the jam. How you doing? 4.30 in the morning for you and you can't sleep? Well, uh, hey, I'm here to uh, perpetuate that problem. We'll uh, we'll certainly do our best. Although, honestly, uh, one of the streams I fall asleep, I used to fall asleep to a lot was I used to watch Grubby stream Warcraft 3. And, you know, I could get through like a couple games, but man, eventually, like, I don't know what it is about streams, but it just, it totally can put you out. It's crazy. How's it going, Bilbo? And Thomas? And Starway? Yes, Warcraft is back. You know, it's, it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. Uh... I'm really out of practice, so probably going to get karate chopped a bit, but that doesn't really matter. It's more about just having some fun. It is indeed. Who do we want to play in the first game? I guess we'll just go random. I feel like random is fun. Until we play random and get like the same same race like four times in a row. Yeah, always good for laughs. So yeah, we'll queue up for some 1v1s here in a minute. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to actually get a match. FFAs are actually really fun too. I love doing FFAs in Warcraft 3. I think that like... The bit, just the, like the hour long grindy, like, you know, just heroes running around at level 10. Like all of that is so exciting. Hey, Kalai, my first experience with gaming was in my grandparents' basement playing Warcraft 3 with my cousins. Yeah, that's a pretty familiar story for sure. Like a lot of folks playing uh, Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 3. I remember playing Tides of Darkness at my friend's house in the mid 90s. Crazy stuff. Yeah, really a throwback stream. So I figured it'd be fun. I figure it'll be fun. It's all about just chilling and being haggard. Yes, exactly. That's 100% the truth, my friend. Hey, Orc, I'm glad you're enjoying the content, my friend. All right, let's queue up. I don't know how long it's going to take, so we're just going to queue up for a match, and hopefully it won't take too long. I remember last time I came on to try, it took took quite a, t quite a, quite a hot minute to find a match. So we'll see if we can find somebody here and uh, get this party started. Connor, about to start up a, a World of Warcraft tabletop RPG game. Oh, that sounds like fun. What are you guys doing in terms of like the time frame? Are you doing like the uh, the rise of the scourge, or is it going to be something more OG, like Tides of Darkness era, more modern? Like I know the old lore for Warcraft, but I don't really. Oh, uh oh, the sound, random versus uh, someone. Oh my god, I like totally forgot. What is the hockey for peasants? I haven't played in a long time, guys. So bear with me. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. Oh, I need to change my resolution. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so weird. Ah, oh, victory. They were afraid to face the mighty Turin. Okay, it's a good thing that happened because my build order was a little bit off. I feel like the resolution's a little bit weird. Yeah, maybe I'm just not used to playing older games. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. Hmm. They, they saw my name and they, they trembled. They're like, oh, I remember playing him back in 2001 when he was in his prime <laughs> a good 20 years ago. Yeah, it's going to be good. The music from Warcraft 3 always gives me the nostalgia. Yeah, me too. Oh, do we find someone? Uh, you know what music gives me the most nostalgia, though? And I can't believe we haven't done it yet. I'll do that next week. Maybe, like, every Thursday we'll make it a, tr a tradition to do, like, a throwback type game. Whether it be Warcraft or, like, Diablo 2. Okay, so we got someone here. We're on random. Clearly, our human play is so good that our opponent just gave up. GG, want to know. Yeah, when people ask how I did on the stream... That's going to be our first victory for sure. Yeah, let's see what our, our random opponent has here. Turtle Rock. This one can be pretty funky if somebody spawns like right next to you. Okay, so yeah, it's fine. I think Acolyte is C. Man, it has been a hot minute. Yeah, Undead is my is the one I used to main, so hopefully I'll be able to actually like put up a fight with these guys. Thomas, thank you for the 10. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. We're just going to go with a creeping build here. Probably, uh, we got to use a fun lord, I think. Death Knight is fun, but like everybody and their dog uses the Death Knight. Granted, for many of you, this may be, you know, the, the, there's no meta for a lot of you guys, right? It's just kind of like, yeah, what you see is what you got. All right, so let's get this up here. Pull you back. Get a graveyard right here. Got to remember, like, base management. I'm so used to playing Total War where you don't really have to worry about base management. Granted, Age of Empires has been something that uh, has helped hone the blade, as they say. Tome of Relics, definitely super good to get the staff. Turin playing Warcraft 3 and Grubby playing Total War Warhammer. 2022 is fabulous. Yeah, I wanted to get Grubby to play uh, 
to play Total War multiplayer. I, I saw him doing campaign. I was like, oh man, you're such a multiplayer guy. It'd be so fun to like to see you uh, doing multiplayer instead. You know, I feel like that would be just uh, pretty legendary. Let's have some fun. And get the big beetle, man. Man, what what was I playing again, guys? Did you guys see? He was random, wasn't he? I think he was random. I really do. All right, so we're gonna go for the Crypt Lord. He's one of my favorite favorites. I remember when he first came out, I was like so stoked. I was like, oh, it's the the Crypt Lord. What a cool character. Oh my god, I, I like I'm playing this like it's Age of Empires with my hotkeys. I'm like hotkeying like my my base, and I'm like part of me wants to keep producing acolytes as if you can have more than five workers. Uh, there might be a lich at some point. I'm not sure when the lich is going to be coming out. So Beetleman is on his way. Beetlejuice, and we're going to go for the beetle build. I don't know what my opponent's playing. I think he's random, right? This new Total War patch is looking uh, a little bit funky. Shoot the nostalgia straight into your veins. Yeah, I got you. I got you. We're here for the nostalgia train. So Beetleman, he's going to go up here. Man, I got to get these hotkeys down. I'm so sorry, guys. This first game is probably going to be a disaster while I get you know get the old bearings going again. Cool. Let's go up here, get the staff. Hopefully we're not playing some MLG Power Gamer here. What the hell is this? Are he stealing my turtles? What the heck is this? Okay, you know what? Just to avoid him, I'm going to go down here. Because my army is not good at fighting in the lower levels. So we're going to go like creep down here and see. Because I think he's like maybe trying to creep jack me or something. I don't know. We'll take out the tiny little uh, turtles first to get the uh, goods. Set the ghouls here. And from here we'll switch on to fiends. Yeah, okay. So he was like tethering my units there. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Ghouls are on the way. Let's go ahead and summon some skeletons. Pull back, let the skeletons take the aggro, and then we just move back in and, and do our thing. We can start with ghouls for now. I don't know what he's playing, so I gotta I gotta be kind of careful here. Very good. Um, honestly, I think we could even start going to tier two. I'm gonna build a Nerubian tower just to be safe. We're gonna hang tight here and get a couple skeletons, and uh, let's get you guys on on that because you can creep pretty hard with the Beetle Master. He can definitely go hard in the paint. All right, so let's go get this big creep camp here. I think we should be able to do it with the beetles and the skeleton summons, as long as we don't get ambushed. Okay, we're, we're going to go one fiend and then go tier two after that. Uh, hopefully this doesn't go too badly. Probably should wait for them to go to sleep, but it's okay. We're going to just take down the uh, the guys first. Very good. Take down the weaker ones. My target priority is a little bit off. Certainly got to get practice on that. Yeah, you're supposed to kill the blue guy first, the blue man group. Okay, more skeletons, please. Thank you. Because the blue one drops like the Ruin of the Watcher, which is super good. And it looks like the Skeletons are mostly taking the damage, which is great. Okay, cool. So we got all the items. We haven't been jacked. We're not playing some MLG Pro Power Gamer guy. So, um, yeah, let's just creep back and across. We're going to go get the ones near our base. Uh, actually, let's go to the next tier. Did he just scan me? He must have gotten an item. Because like scanning like that is a little bit haggard, I think. So we're going to head home. This is a really good item, but not so much on this character. And he sees me teching. Is there some sort of weird cheese coming? Like, I don't know why I'm just getting the cheese vibes. Like, there's going to be some... Ah! Oh, hello, my sweet prince. Yes. The dreaded Creepjack with the Pandaren Brewmaster, who's actually quite good against my units. I don't know if... Oh, uh, we should be able to catch that footman. Let's see if we can, like, run up there and get him. Ah, he's so fast. The ghouls might be able to chase him a little bit. No problem. All right, so we got skeletons. Let's go up here. I don't think he's... His army looks pretty beat up. Did he get this? Okay, this guy's actually good. That's not good. Yeah, he's got the Rune of the Watcher. Like, his creep route is way better than mine. Yeah, okay. Well, it is what it is. Let's just try and survive here and do our do our thing. Hope for the best. Definitely more practiced. A lot of the people who still play this game are uh, obviously very, very uh, in tune with the the meta. Although, the Brewmaster first, I don't know, maybe he's meta. Maybe, maybe Grubby's been doing it on his stream and people are going to be copying that. Who knows? At least I did get one side. That's that's uh, definitely a relief. We should be able to power creep pretty hard with this guy, though. Let's go do our big camp here. Although, is he going to have vision on that? I don't think so. Yeah, footies will have defend. For our next hero, I think we go death knight. For our next disappearing act. All right, this is a little bit of a risky camp, but I think it's worth. That's the difference with like a lot of good players in this game and people who are a little bit like rusty, like myself, is like knowing how like creep aggro works and all that. But being able to summon the beetles here should be pretty nice. Yeah, because the, the AI is going to attack them. Cool. And they I think they buffed the Crypt Lord to the point where he summons like two of those guys now. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. I don't see my opponent probably having as easy of a creep as we have here with Beetle Master. So we'll just go do the other side. Cool. So we got upgrades coming along. Got to get a statue, do that whole jam, and Potion of Greater Healing. Very good. Beetles, let's go here. Just kind of keep power creeping. 
Uh, we can send the little ghouls back just to hit our lumber production. It's so funny. Like, so many of the age vampires' instincts I have, like refreshing my lumber mill and all that is really kicking in right now. Cool. All's good. Yeah, we're having some fun, guys. Thanks for joining. Late night uh, Warcraft 3. Something we used to do on the channel quite a bit. Also, that and, uh, that and uh, what's it called? Hmm. Want to do anything funky for my next hero? Probably not. Probably just like a death knight. Okay, I mean, we're getting some sweet itemization here. Uh, next up, we will get the Death Knight, because Coil is very good. It is an amazing ability. And let's keep heading up north and seeing if we can uh, grab some more of these harder creep camps. Maybe deny him. He probably fast expanded, which is okay. Undead can play one base against that pretty well. I almost want to just go like Necromancer. It's so much fun. Mm, yeah, Dota, Dota came from this. And sorry, guys, I can't uh, answer questions quite as easily in this game. I'm not, like, as practiced, so I'm a little bit, like, kind of rusty on it. All right, let's get the upgrades. Honestly, I'm feeling an attack on him pretty soon. When the Death Knight comes out, I'm thinking that might not be a bad idea. Okay, homeboy, let's just get you back. Burrow. Burrow's a really good one. Obviously, this big uh, Chungus Beetle thing here, or the crab. Turtle! Man, why, am I, why is my brain just not working? Come on. All right, so wand of mana stealing. We need our we need our second hero. Um, yeah, we'll do this and take that. Oh, hello, hello, sunshine. He probably thinks I'm super low. Hopefully, he's going to use some abilities. Oh no, I'm so low and weak, but I have a huge potion. Yes, he's attacking the beetles, which is a good sign. Let's use scroll of the beast. Not sure where he's going to go. Is he going to try and surround me? Is he going after my lord? Not sure what he's doing. Nice. Okay, we got the. Oh, did we get the surround? The MLG surround? No, not quite. Okay, I need to. I need to get used to doing that again. All right, so statue this, and then we head to the next next tier here. Let's go get this camp, and uh, yeah, that was pretty good. No, oh, hello. Yeah, let's just get this camp. We don't need to chase him around like a potato. Let's just get our value, and then uh, we'll we'll try and go to his base and finish him off. Oh, hello. Okay, is he really gonna try and go after some of these guys? Like, what is he hoping to accomplish here? Okay, looks good. Okay, so which one is he going after? This guy? Yep, seems fine. Bro, that. Oh, what is the hockey for bro? It's B. Okay, I should know that. Okay, a little bit slow on the draw with some of these, but it's all right. Oh, that was a nice. That was a nice one right there. And then we can do the wand of mana stealing here. And coil should be up again. Cool. Panda can be pretty insane for sure. If you're not careful. Let's go to tier three. Uh, definitely still want to get this camp and also get some beetles here. So he, I think he got a fiend, maybe two. Kind of lost track to be honest. All right, this will give us uh, give us some good good experience here. Definitely need some statues. Stat. Uh, oh, they didn't have the rally point set. That's my bad. All right, so another scroll of the beast. Pretty solid. My death knight is is on deathbed as well. Hopefully he'll get level two here. Great. So now we have the aura, so we can do some good stuff. The turtles are a chungus crab, according to Turin. It's true. My brain just couldn't like process what it was. I was like, "What is this thing? It's like a, a turtle dragon beast thing." All right. So let's go. Let's go say hello to this guy. If if he's like turtled super hard with towers, what we do is we just go get the red camps. I'm glad I can still compete with people playing this. Okay. Here's his base. Uh, he's got. Oh my God. What is this unholy helms deep he has here? Okay, so if he's just going to chill in his base, then we just go get the red camps. And then we can pressure him once we get to the third age. Because we'll have destroyers then. Uh-huh. Oh my god, is he in my base? What the hell is this shit? Oh my god, that's so annoying. Alright, so let's uh, let's get into his base here. I think we can actually hit him pretty hard. Yeah, so ghouls, please go. Workers. Yeah, he's probably going for some weird cheesy shit. A lot of human players do that. Oh, hello. Let's get you back. And uh, we are going to the next age. Do I want to go and get this camp? I think I do. We're going to go get red and just get some powerful, super powerful items. Yeah, that was that was pretty good on him. That was definitely a good play. All right, let's take down the big man. We can just take both red camps and hopefully we'll just have such powerful characters compared to him. It won't matter. Ghouls. Oh, is he actually coming up here? Oh, man, he almost got that from us. That, I got the Ancient Django there. That would have been a pretty big disaster for sure. Oh, he got the Potion of Healing. That's too bad. 
Okay, let's get you back to the base. Run you away. You're pretty quick. We got level five, which is awesome. So this guy can go around. Let's take all of you. And uh, we can go to the main base of our opponent now. Even if he gets that ghoul guy, or the uh, death knight, doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, we've lost out on a ton of mining time as well. Okay, let's go to his main base. Now we can go ahead and get a lich and get the orb of darkness. But first let's get destroyer form. A couple of these. Get some more of you guys. And then head up. Maybe do an expansion soon as well. Yeah, he wasn't able to catch him. This guy's definitely scrappy for sure. He's probably going to just keep trying to cheese my base with that panda. Okay. So we're level 5. We're pretty chunky and mad. So we're going to move into the back of the base now and just really, really go hard. He's probably going to do some big Air Force cheese or like steam tanks or something would be my guess. Okay, come on team. Get in here. Get in here. Come on. Okay, this is where we get the business. Yeah, let's do this. Just start taking out whatever we can. Yeah, he's losing a lot of workers, so I think I think this is probably going to be GG here. Get the Death Knight heading up too. Oh, Death Knight needs to be careful. Cool. All right, let's take out the towers. Towers. Yeah, see, he's just he's just going for cheese. He's not he's not going to win. I don't know what he's doing. Some weird castle like tech, sort of witchcraft. Yeah, I mean, okay, you can attack my gold mine. That's cool. He must have an expansion somewhere. Let's kill his castle to take down his tech. And then you guys go after these. Yep, let's attack. Uh, kind of want to make sure none of the workers escape. Oh, we need to get webs, too. Okay, back and back. Well, it looks like our first game is going to be a W for sure. Okay, he has another, he has another base somewhere. Okay. It's fine. If we take out the castle, it's going to limit his tech pretty hard. Yep, seems fine. We'll expand behind this too, just to be safe. And, uh, yep. And then you can go up here, 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 and uh, here, I guess. I don't know. We'll just go scout everything. Yeah. I think we're solid. Hey, welcome to the stream. Yes. Not sneaking Warcraft 3 past you. I knew it. I knew there was some weird cheese going on. I, I could smell it in the air. Some weird expansion. Let's say they kill all his farms and stuff, yeah. I'll happily just farm this base for a minute. Uh, let's get disease cloud as well. Oh, we don't have any ghouls anymore. They all like, got karate chopped by something. Ooh, okay. All right, ghouls. Taking out the farms. He's gonna have to build more. And we are almost level six. Yeah. Craven Tail tonight. I do have a TP as well, so I think what I'll do here is just TP back, because I don't know if he has one anymore. He does, actually. Okay. Uh, so let's gather our forces, and we can just TP back now and force one from him. Some weird, weird stuff. Alright. So let's just force a TP out of him. Cool. Great. Now let's just go to his base. And uh, I need to get my control groups a little bit better. One. It's been so long since I played. So rusty. Okay, so he's lost his castle. So, I mean, he should be definitely suffering a little bit here. we got to get more ghouls out. The ghoul legion. And I think I should probably burrow some of these guys around. Like, just so we can, like, see, see his movements. So we can do this and this. And then we can burrow one of you guys like up here and here. So like here and then burrow. Very good. And that should give us like some eyes as it pertains to his movement patterns. Because clearly he, he, he likes the cheese. Yep, see, I knew it, I knew it. I knew he was coming for the goodies. Okay, does he have another TP? He does. Yeah, it's going to be expensive though. He's only level four. Let's burrow you. We'll be back in a second. Oh, he's going for my town center. Wow, that's pretty ballsy. Might actually be able to get it. I might have to pull workers to actually save it. Yeah. No, I think we're fine. All right, so we get that. Uh, let's coil this guy if we can. I think that guy should actually fall. So every time he does that, it's gonna it's gonna cost him a bit. In terms of uh, in terms of gold, which I know he's got the expansion now, so it's a little bit unfortunate. 
A single destroyer would actually like deal with a lot of his pressure. Because they're immune to magic and they kill knights super quick. Alright, so let's just make statues galore. And just have them guarding the base against the night cheese. And uh, also we want to get one of you guys repairing this if we can. And do we have an extra worker? We do. Nice. Alright, so now he's going for workshops. Yeah, makes sense. That's that's the next avenue for cheese. It's like steam tanks and gyros and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so let's send you in here and go for the tower. We have to call his bluff, you know, a lot of people are like afraid of towers and stuff, but we have to we have to push in. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and coil you. Unfortunately our man is getting drained, but workers are indeed getting karate chopped. Should be able to get him pretty quick. Yep, let's make another one of you. Take this out. We're just gonna have to like brute force our way in a little bit. Ooh, I actually don't have a TP. I might have actually just thrown. I might have actually thrown here. Yeah, because he's got like a fair amount of knights pressuring me. Uh see if we can get out. So I don't want to get like trapped in here and just get owned. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we managed to get out. That's nice. Okay, so what has he got? A couple knights? Let's take out his production infrastructure here. Okay, let's get you. And we need more statues galore. Not A-bombs. Oh, he's going after the Death Knight. That's cute. We need to use the staff. We could actually give the staff to the Death Knight. Then he can use it on the old panda here. Heal you up. Looks good. He's making rifles. Yeah, his, his keep is pretty low level here. That's some damage, all right. Ooh, if, he, if this guy had gotten a good surround, I actually could have been in, in some trouble there. Oh, man. All right, you guys need to keep going here. The crab man might actually fall. We should be able to just rebuy him, though. Okay, let's finish off these knights. Get our death knight nice and saucy. Come on, come on. Okay, he sniped our heroes. It's definitely going to make this harder, but he's got, like, no army left. Like, whatsoever. So now what we do is we resurrect one. So let's finish off this guy if we can. The problem the problem lies if he gets a, a super powerful panda. Okay, so now we just juke here to the best of our ability. See, now he's level 6. This is where it gets a little bit messy. Okay, let's go secure an expansion for ourselves. We need to do that. We definitely do. Okay, so big man's coming back. Uh, we can power res the death knight, I think. Yeah, this guy will be back soon. The panda is really, really good for this kind of style of play that he's doing. Okay, so let's do this, and then this. I don't know why he's running past us here. Okay, he's just going to do this, and then this. We can just burrow the injured ones. Okay, so now he's got his like crazy Super Saiyan form, so we just definitely run, run back to the base now. Yeah, we could actually lose this. I mean, he's got he's so damaged and beat up. Let's set up a secret expansion up here. Yeah, we have to wait out that ultimate. Okay, how long until big man's back? Okay, we have a couple slowing towers and things like that. That should be helpful. We definitely want you. Okay, let's take this guy out if we can. Not sure where he's going. Just got to make sure we burrow anybody who's getting close to dying. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, if we kill all three, it actually does wipe him out, which is pretty funny. Okay, so he's going after the beetles at the moment. Nobody's actually taking any substantial damage. I wonder if we could actually kill this guy here. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, we're get we're forcing items. He's basically just relying on his heroes because he's got he's got nothing aside from them. Hopefully he doesn't scout up here. That's that's gonna be pretty important for us. Uh okay, so do we have any extra workers? We got two thousand left in this mine. The ghouls need to come down here. Start working on this tree line. It's quite a bit safer. Okay, big beetle man is back and he's pissed. So let's go look around the map. So we still have that ward, which is cool. Let's see if he's done anything here. And then you can do this. Death Knight will be back soon. And we'll just go attack his base. Hopefully we can we can survive with our, with our guy. Our Death Knight will be back soon too. I need to get the Orb of Darkness on a Lich. Like some shooting to try and slow slow his roll a little bit. Let's repair and repair and repair. And then uh, also send a beetle up to go see what he's doing here. So we can do that. And like, you know, make sure he doesn't like colonize his, his old base. And is this uh this is a beetle? Yeah, we'll get the beetle in the army. 
Cool. So yeah, he's got nothing going on down there. Definitely probably want to get, hmm, we could get, the Lich is pretty sweet, but like Lich is going to be level one. It's going to be very, very vulnerable, but I guess we could itemize it. All right, let's, let's just grab the, the, the lady of the night here. Uh-huh. Sounds good. Whatever. He's got like a couple knights and meme tanks. I knew the cheese was coming. I, I didn't know when and where from, but I knew it would come. Yeah, this guy's definitely scrappy. He might be able to pull off the W here. We're going to go get the Orb of Corruption. Didn't Steam Tanks get like nerfed kind of recently? Yeah, okay. He's not He's not doing anything in his old base. Yeah, he's he's not. So we need to get the Orb on, uh, on the Lady. And then we can get uh, this and this. So he has discovered our top base, which is unfortunate. Probably not going to be able to kind of keep that going. So we'll cancel this for now. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa. Why were they attacking her, man? I'm just going to have to use a potion like an absolute scrub to heal this character. Okay. These things have fortified armor? Yeah, they do. I guess that's, that's, that's tough. Okay, Death Knight's back in business. Our expansion is taken out, so we are a little bit starved. So now we're going to have to... Uh, oh my god, we actually trapped our character here. That's pretty funny. Okay, we need to definitely get on these meme tanks. Okay, let's repair. Meme tanks are actually good in this game. They're definitely definitely more frightening. It wasn't... Yeah, they nerfed the... Uh, what's it called? The... Uh, the experience. Because they used to give like no experience. That was the problem with the meme tanks. Okay, I mean, that's fine. We got we got a couple of them down, which is pretty a pretty solid little uh, grab there for us. So now we just have to like expand... And play it, play it pretty safe in that regard. He's got a level six panda, which is really frightening as well. Uh huh, and uh huh. Just make sure this expansion stays firm. Is basically the jam. Oh my go goodness, this is tough. This is tough. It's gonna be a hard game. Yeah, let's heal. Our our death knight lady is is getting up there. I could send her to go creep, but I'm a little bit nervous about like leaving leaving this place. I don't have like a screen blocker on, do I? Oh, okay. I, I thought I thought you guys were talking about that. Okay, the base is being scanned again. And then you need to go here and burrow just to make sure. And then we can send you over here to go burrow as well. We just have to make sure my opponent doesn't expand and we play the long game here. That's That's the plan. We can itemize our characters and whatnot. Did you not want to go? Did you, were you not looking to do this and then? All right. So no one's expanding at the old base. I think we're okay. We're oh my god, gyrocopters on top of all this shit. This is just like this is just cheese city. Okay, let's repair these. Such a such a memey way to play. Okay, so how many workers do we have here? Our mine just ran out, so now we just need to secure the second position here. For sure. And let's take you and get the ghouls and go maybe do this camp? I don't know. No, the ghouls have to stay on wood. we got to be cautious. Like, if I lose this base, I lose the game. How does he see that? Oh, he's got gyros. Okay, that's fine. I probably spent too long in his main base, like, trying to kill him earlier. Okay, he's going to come here, but, like, I'm just guarding this now, so. He's going to be running out of gold soon-ish. Yeah, the little crabs are trying their best. Let's see if we can get up there and kill some knights. But I don't know how many meme tanks are present. There's probably quite a few. We'll see when they when they barrage into the main base. Army's pretty quick. We could just drop coils. I should just be dropping coils. Oh, hello. Hello, freebies. Good to see you. Pleasure. Okay, so he's probably going to go for this base. Let's go ahead and set up an expansion here as well. Cool. Let's pull back now. Yeah, we have the we have the beetle chilling there. So, yeah, here's his army. All right, let's go after you. Get this guy. One night down. Did he try and scroll that guy and messed up? Nah, it looks like he did. All right. So, yeah, we're going to get another night here, which is great. Let's kill all the knights off. Uh-huh. Looks okay. So now we head after the steam tanks, which are clearly going to be going here. And just try and wait out the old, uh, the old... Can we go statue form? Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, let's drop some bows on him. Chasing down beetles, that's fine. We are getting the repairs up, which is good. Let's get another one of these. Take out this meme tank. I really need to get level 6 is what I need. Many of the fiends are causing problems here. Is he going after the Death Knight? Looks like he is. Yeah, Death Knight's level 4. Great. Thankfully, this isn't like the mine. This is just the... Uh... Yeah, okay. Meme tanks are pretty beat up. Let's go ahead and fan out and get this one. You guys come back here. And when he goes back into panda form, we can definitely fight back a little bit better. Cool. So we just got the uh, the dark arrow. And uh, three. Coil you down. What kind of items are we looking at here? Okay. So uh, we could set up an expansion here too. And there's meme tanks in my base. I think the ghouls are still here. Where the hell are the ghouls? I had some in the base. Okay. Well, we'll go back there anyways. Yeah, we need to protect this at all costs. Okay, he's level 7. I think if we kill the panda, we have a decent chance. So let's go here and send one of you guys here as well. I mean, I don't know what his economy looks like. I really don't. Probably better than mine, that's for sure. Okay, so that's that's good. We see the dreaded panda. God, we must be so close to level 6. We must be so close to getting level 6 here. Because that was definitely a lot of the steam in his army there. Yeah, we got a beetle in the base, which he's looking for. He's got two knights and like a, a gyro at the moment, but Panda might be able to do it. We'll have to see. We do have that, that backup expansion up in the north too. And uh, he's got to be gold starved. I think he's got to be out. So we just keep tabs on the expansions and just try and get our uh, get our business going okay we definitely need you in the army where are the ghouls at i could have sworn i had some ghouls i guess i don't really need them anymore but we're mining and he's not i don't think four or five and then how close are you you're level two only so we got you for silence we can silence the dreaded brewmaster oh hello get you back here all right looks good to me he's gonna find this expansion prop most likely I'm going to send one of the beetles like back here to go see like if he's mined out. Yeah. And cuz I have this base, so I know there's nothing nothing crazy going on there. And let's get you to move up here. Might be a bit of a giveaway. And then you can go here and scout the old base. Come on, get in there. Is the gold mine out? Yeah, okay. My opponent's mined out right now. So if we just play smart, then I think we have a chance. Okay, he found that expansion, which is okay. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's inevitable here. Let's go set up another one down here too. The main base is going to get hammered, unfortunately. Okay, we got to go protect the main base. Yeah, the town center might get karate chops. I don't, you know, I don't know if we can manage manage with the mobility that he's got. I don't know how he's getting money either. Yeah, definitely, definitely some weird shenanigans are afoot. We don't have anyone to repair this at the moment. That's too bad. So probably going to lose that. And then you can unsummon this buddy to try and get some money. We got level 6 finally. He might win the base race though, with the panda being as it is. Okay. Now it's mostly just knights. I think there's one meme tank left. Okay, so you chill up there, buddy. We got the beetles. Uh, he's not expanding. Yeah, I think he's up here still. Let's go see if we can head off this army. Get a little bit of value going. Like, how is he affording all this? I'm really curious. Like, I've checked every expansion, and I know he's he's mined out. Yeah, I'm pretty quick, too. This, is, this would be where having a Lich would be really nice, for sure. Okay. So you guys come down here. We can try a Secret Agent expansion there. It's gonna go for like base sniping. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying the game. This is a wild first game for sure. My first game back in a long time. I'm getting this, this kind of a crazy game. Okay, he's actually up in this base now, which is maybe good for us. Um, do we have anybody that can unsummon stuff? Yeah, we need you to go do that. Oh, here we are. All right, sounds good. Let's keep going. Let's drop the big swarm here. 
Unfortunately, I don't get that off. Oh, that's that's tough. Okay, Beetle Swarm. And here comes the ult, but I have my ult too. And we do have the destroyers. Oh, that's right. I can devour. I haven't played this game in so long, man. It's so it's so trippy. Oh my god, my poor micro. I just literally forgot about those things. I'm like, oh, I'm not used to using heroes. Okay, Death Knight. Well, he might not be back for a while, but we are winning the fight more or less. Like, I don't know. Let's 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 bro you. Take out his knights. Like he's got a couple knights left. We got level three on you. We're gonna have to find a way to try and like get this guy back. Yeah, the meme tanks are still in the base here, which is pretty hilarious. So we need to unsummon you and uh, unsummon this too. Killing the meme tanks, I think, is gonna be a priority. So at least we won the fight, but like I don't know how we stabilize after that. I guess we're gonna have to sell items and stuff. His panda, like he just always has that scroll. Okay, thankfully we have this this main thing here. I have no idea where, where Homeboy's getting his money from, though. I really don't. Yeah, and he's still got a, a town portal. Okay, so that should be his last steam tank, dudes. I think the big thing is trying to get our Death Knight back. Because base racing him feels like it's going to be impossible, yeah. With how quick he is. Uh, is it nighttime yet? Can I bring you out from the pits? Nope. Okay. Thankfully, he's not aware that I have this this little kind of mini uh, mini base here. So let's attack him with the, uh, the goon squad. He could want to get a breath attack. I guess we just follow him around. We need to unsummon some buildings, so we unsummon you and unsummon uh, probably this. And we bring you up to go see if he's expanding here. As a matter of fact, let's just send all the beetles up there. Let's make them sing the yellow submarine. Okay, so he's in his base with two steam tanks right now. I think he probably tried to expand in the north. Turn wasn't a fan of the new graphics. Yeah, I, I prefer the old stuff. Oh my god, he's long distance mining. What a troll. Okay, let's go get the last of his workers. I mean, I wonder how long he's been doing this for. It's free, free experience for me. I'll happily take this. Okay, looks good. Cool. And then uh, let's head back down here to protect this. And now we go try and get an expansion up here. I don't know. Or, or do I just go for Death Knight? Yeah, that should do the trick. I'm gonna laugh so hard if I actually manage to win this game. Can I start getting the Death Knight back? Do I have enough for that? No, I don't. Oh, perfect, now I do, okay. Here's the tank. Yeah, let's just go protect this. He might be able to get it. This is gonna be a really tight game. So let's cancel this for now. Get you coming out. Take out the meme tank here. Should put us up to level four. And take this out if we can. All right, so we have you. We can get some light, loose mining going. He's got a level eight Pandaren. Oh boy, this is this is crazy. I don't know, maybe I build a couple buildings just to be safe. Let's go send the beetles up here too. Is this gonna be a draw? No, he'll he'll be able to infinitely come in and probably cheese me with his his like breathing attacks. Um, let's take you guys around and go see if we can do a little bit of this. I gotta start working on his base. How much are these guys? Seventy five gold a pop. I don't have the population. Yeah, so let's just like take out this 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 this. Oh, we need our flyers back. My poor worker got sniped. I'm gonna use my ult just out of desperation. <laughs> Alright, we've canceled that. Thank you, darling. It should be cold, but it's too dark. Thank you, princess. Oh my god, what a wild game, dude. Yeah, I'm really out of practice. So this is a good warm-up game. Oh my god, are we actually gonna kill him before he gets the base? No way. If I had the... Oh, we had the ult in the back pocket! <laughs> if I had silenced him! Oh, maybe! 
holy shit, that was actually a fun game. Jesus, I can't believe you got me. I thought we had that one in the bag. Mm. Yeah, the good old graphics are the way. Oh my God, I can't believe we got cheese like that. So here's the thing. The reason why we lost is because we didn't scout. We had him beat pretty good on open field. And uh, we killed his base, but we didn't scout his expansion. I should have. I had I had the tools to do it. If I had silenced him there with my, my Dark Ranger and hadn't lost my Death Knight, maybe. Okay. So let's get this. Let's get you going here. What are we playing? Human again? GG, dude, that was a wild ass game, man. I need to get I need to get my rhythm. Because if I just had scouted and seen his expansion early, he would have lost hard. It was dumb. Uh this game. Hmm, what do we want to do this game? I like the unorthodox stuff. I don't like just going Death Knight Lich, even though maybe I should do it to get my get the W back. The lovely wife just brought me some uh some delicious drinks. Super excited here. Alright. Silence is really good. Yeah, it does last a long time. Yeah, I'm just I'm so rusty. I haven't played in so long. But we'll get it back. We'll get it back. We'll we'll win this one. Uh huh. I'm just gonna go standard here to get a W, and then we can go back to being a memer, which I think would be fine. All right. So, the altar of darkness is upon us. Uh, we're gonna go for death knight first. We're gonna go standard this time. Although my build isn't like actually a standard build order, it's kind of a bad one to be honest, but it'll be fine. All right, so the little ghouls dropping off the goodies. Let's do that. So Death Knight, uh, we're playing human. Yeah, we're definitely going to be more aggressive this time. Uh, Infernal build, it could happen. This game though, okay, man. Now, now you guys are making me feel bad for not getting a pit lord. Yeah. God, I feel like the Pit Lord calls. A gift from Papa Nurgle, never stop playing the Filthy Boys. Oh, no, Nurgle's my gem. I got my Nurgle Death Guard and Tabletop. We're at, we're, we stand at the ready. Okay, Death Knight will be out. We'll, we'll, we'll get a little bit more sweaty this time. We're not going to do the Haggard Crypt Lord. I had, like, no way of dealing with his, like, his characters. A Death Knight Lich combo would have just sniped that panda into oblivion. All right, come on. Come on, Death Knight. Let's go, buddy. So here he is. Looks good. Let's get the coil, which I think is the hotkey is C for that. And uh, let's grab you. After you turn in the wood. Cool. Bring you over here. Oh, that's right. There's like all these like fancy creep roots on this map and stuff. Yeah. It's definitely a weird one. All right. Let's go here. Get the little ghouls on there and we should be good. Okay. Hey, Meryl. Thank you again for the donation. Thank you. Thank you. Look at us power creeping like a true champion here. I used to be good at this game back in 2000, 2004. <laughs> Many moons ago. Back in my day. Should probably. Oh yeah, that's right. This guy does the lightning shield, huh? Oh my god, it pulled the ghouls from the base because they were like actually close enough. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Get some more ghouls. How come? I always thought these guys did lightning shield. I guess not. All right, let's take down the dreaded Renegade Wizard. And uh, what is tech? One, one, 210 to get to the next point? Okay. So let's just get a hard level three and then like attack our opponent. Oh my God, what the hell is this? Is he, is he doing some funny business? Does he want a piece? He, he better not stop and mana drain me again or else he's gonna have a bad time. We're trying to get us around because we have the speed advantage on him. But it's kind of hard. We don't have like quite enough. Okay, at least at least we we put some fear in him, so he's he's gonna just leave us alone for a second. I think we'll go for this. Take this out real quick. Take out the uh, little frog here. Oh my god, my my resource management is so abysmal. All right, it's whatever. Okay, um, little mud golems here. Don't give a ton of experience. I don't think. I'm actually kind of slow now. That was that might have been a little bit greedy. Oh my god, that that slow is killing me, Smalls. Okay, let's go up to his base. See what we could do. That was that was really abysmal. This the slow from the mud golem was just like the ultimate trolling. 
Okay, so we'll loop around. I think he's just trying to den deny me level 3, which he might be able to, actually. We'll see. The amount of damage I took there was definitely not good. I think I lost one or two ghouls. Something like that. Yeah, some sort of funny business. All right. Let's see if he's able to kind of keep up with me here in terms of uh, seeing where I'm creeping. If he do if he catches me here, I'm going to have to TP, though, for sure. That would just be all bad news bears. So many strange builds today, for sure. But, you know, the people who still play this have been playing a long time. So you get these unholy terrors. It's kind of like that when you go back to an old game. Circle it in ability. I'll take it. Undead fast expansion could be kind of a fun idea as well. Let's go get the green camp. Just be like really, really cautious here. And uh, do that. This is what I get for not going with the pit lord. Dude, I love the blood mage though. If this guy beats me with it, I wouldn't even be upset. The blood mage is a pretty big power play for sure. Uh-huh. Pull back. Go after you guys. No problem. How many ghouls do we have too? We probably need to, need to send our guys back to jump on that. Which is the dreaded night crawler. All right, so let's grab another scroll here, and then we'll uh, we'll go. Maybe put a little bit of pressure on him after we heal. So boom and boom. Okay, we got triple fiend now, which is certainly pretty powerful. We can get a heal going from this, and now we can head up to his base and start doing some coil sniping and like all that sort of fun business. What kind of a build do we want to do? I don't even know what's meta against human. I don't even know what's meta at all. Mass gargoyle. You guys want Mass Gargoyle? Okay. Oh, hey there, buddy. Look, we're both level 3. We can be level 3 buddies now. Oh, we almost got this round. I almost, I almost still got it. Not quite. Okay, he's getting a little bit damaged. I gotta remember how to do that. It's been so, so long. I do have another Coil in the pocket as well. Keep chasing him. You better be careful, homie. Oh man, he just barely got that paladin out in time. You better hope you got that holy light, dude. Oh, the banish. Oh. Okay. I kind of remember what this guy's doing now. Oh. It's all it's all coming together. Are we are we tier two yet? Do we have a lich? We definitely want a Lich. Yeah, I, I, let's wait till we get our next hero before we fight him, too. Oh my god, I'm just such a potato. God, I haven't played this in so long. I hate sucking at things. Alright, so we'll get this, and then we'll set you up as well. And, uh, yeah, we can just keep creeping, I guess. We'll go do our expansion here. All oh, this, this looks good. We'll, let's hit the shop. We'll get the Lich in a second. He'll be out in no time. I know you guys want the dreaded pit lord, but the lich is just going to be super essential here. All right, so let's take you out. He's probably creeping quite comfortably as well. Let's get the ghouls coming down here to help. Okay, very good. Little ghoul man can go help here. Paladin can be really problematic for us, for sure. Yeah, we got to we got to put some respect on that paladin's name. Tome of Knowledge. Uh, let's get a scroll of healing. It's just a super good item. Uh, and we can hide this. Get rid of the stupid cloak thing. And can we now get you? Great. All right. So going to try and get like a hard tier three here, obviously. Let's go back to his base, see if we can do a little bit of poke. Maybe catch him creeping up in the corner somewhere. That'd be quite nice. Get some statues for ourselves. And uh, yeah, okay. That's a pretty good camp here. We could jack this from his side. I would imagine he's uh, probably doing something similar to me. At this very moment. Okay, we're taking down the big man. Why do we still have the ghouls in the army? I kind of forgot to send them back. Alright, what do we get? Ooh, the Lionhorn of Stormwind, huh? Not a bad item. Not a bad item. Does give you a bit of armor. Alright, ghoul. You go back and chop some wood. Let's go see if we can figure out what's going on at the base. Now we go to the next uh, next tier here. Keep saying age, it's so funny. So used to doing Age of Empires. Now we do have the dreaded Coil Nova combo, which is certainly quite scary. We can dive into his base, he's got one tower. So we could definitely get in there and get some of his 
not his villagers here, but his workers. Okay, we got a TP out of him. I'm pretty happy with that. And his army is decent. It's definitely decent. But we want to get back because we want the uh, we want the big scary stuff. More than happy to get a TP out of him. That's a, that's a great win for us. Okay, he probably crept my side. So let's go creep our side a little bit now as well. So one. So we don't get supply blocked again like we are about to. It's the creature upgrade, yeah. So he crept mine. Let's see if he got this as well. We want to wait till we get the orb of corruption. Okay, did he get the red camp though is the question. We have a TP and he doesn't, so we can afford to do red, I think. This camp is a real beast though. It's it's actually quite terrifying. Yeah, I think I think it's worth the risk though. So let's pull him out and then go after these guys if we can. Take out the dreaded golems. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Get back, my little buddy. He's checking for an expansion. Thankfully, his main army isn't here. Oh, boy. This is getting a little shady. He could be here any second. I don't have Burrow yet, either. Come on, give me the kill. Ooh, the ancient Django here. Okay, so we're going to be super fast, super furious. All right, so we got red camp. He's probably getting his red camp too. So it's basically just going to come down to itemization here. Um, he's building a farm here, which is kind of a cute play. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Homie's going to block me from my expansion. I'll happily take the experience. Okay, that was, that was, that was fine. So we have, an, oh, we, we have a town portal. He doesn't. So we can certainly take some risky, uh, risky engagements potentially. And But I don't want to fight till I get tier 3 here. Because then we get that orb, which is so, so good. Man, it's crazy how quick you go through your supply in, in this game. I had almost forgotten. Okay, let's get you and get the orb of corruption. He's going to have to TP. He's not careful. Okay, so he's just going to do that. That's fine. So let's get this on the lich. Get that. Why? Why are you out of range? Ah, that's so annoying. He's going to get my shop. Okay, let's get the casters if we can. Snipe him down. Get you as well. Send you guys back. Pull you guys back. Seems to be going okay. Okay, we definitely need to get that little orb now. So we're not going to give chase. We're just going to get this on you. And then get this and this. And perfect. So then let's get destroyer form. Yeah, I think that went well. I don't think we lost too much. Uh, a third hero? Hmm. Yeah, probably Dark Ranger. Dark Ranger is going to be really good for the silence and stuff. Uh, do we have both of our statues set? We don't. See, that's where I'm being a fat noob right now. Okay, so that'll give us our mana back. And uh, I wish the undead had the potion of clarity. That'd be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Probably want to check him for an expansion now. I think we can get aggressive now that I have the orb of corruption. I think I think we can definitely get a little bit crazy. Yeah, he's going ri rifle paladin blood mage. Okay, so nothing here. He doesn't have a town portal. And I do have two mana potions, so now... Oh, no, I don't have one on him. That's too bad. Oh, hey, buddy. What's cracking? All right. So, yeah, he's going to get, like, a couple buildings, maybe. I'm just going to run back. We don't need to use our TP here. He does have inner fire. Yeah, so that's, that's why we need you guys to be in destroyer form. To, 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 to eat that inner fire off his units. All right, so yeah, we lost a couple of buildings. I think we lost like a ziggurat or something. Yeah, I don't know why I just coiled that guy. Just kind of felt like we needed to there. Hmm, yeah, his army's pretty scary. Maybe we pull the ghouls. Yeah, I think we pull the ghouls. All right, so let's do this. Pop those guys. Eat the inner fire. Go after the squishy mortar teams. Just keep going after casters for experience. Use a healing scroll. Get you. 
Ah, he's getting my, my defilers here. Whatever the hell they're called. I think the focus fire is going a little bit better for us. Like, I feel like he's losing more. Yeah, all his mortars are gone. Let's go ahead and just coil you before he mana drains us. Okay, so we have our Lich still only at level 2 here. Cool. Now we just focus rifles, I guess. The DPS is definitely slipping for both sides. He's got a level 4 Paladin, which is really scary. Fiend, and let's get A-bombs. Yeah, like, we're both, like, basically fighting to a, the bloody end here. And he keeps bringing in more squishy units, which is really funny, so I'm just like, okay, well, I guess we'll just keep trading squishy units. Let's get you if we can. I feel like we do need another hero. Yeah, let's just pull back to our base for now. And uh, I think we, we buy another hero. Yeah, he's banishing those units. Our mana is just so horrible at the moment. Let's go see if he's expanding here. Yeah, he's got that, that armor aura, which is so good. It's very, very strong. Okay, we need to go get another hero, because I think our, our base is getting plowed so badly. What kind of a unit could we use to be a little bit more efficient here? Okay, uh, let's get you. Set this up. Okay, he's not expanding. Um, who is going to be a useful hero? Probably Dark Ranger with like an orb. Yeah, and let's get the uh, the black arrow on those. I think that's going to be the play. Okay, so we're losing some buildings. Oh, a sapper. Look at that. Wow. That's some... This guy's getting hog wild on us. Okay, so he's not expanding here. So I think we just... We take the fight to him. Yeah, we got a Dark Ranger. We need to get the Orb of Corruption. We'll get those three dudes back, and then I think we'll be we'll be more relaxed after that. How much is this orb? It's 375. That is really, really pricey. Are you sure you're not Gabe from the... Which guy is Gabe again? I don't remember. I haven't seen The Office in so long. It's been a long, long time. I used to enjoy that show, but I, I don't remember all the characters' names. Okay, so we got an orb. Oh, man, the fiends are overextending pretty hard here. Yeah, I guess we just sniped the, the mortar teams. Just go go for a bit of a dive here on those guys. Really nice save. This guy is definitely like a savvy veteran here. I can I can feel it in my bones. It's so hard to snipe these characters. Is he gonna get the save? No, it doesn't quite look like it. Good. I mean, maybe my characters can carry me. I don't know. Like, if we get enough farms on these like weak weaker characters in the back line here. Yeah, it's really, really tough. This guy's got good control. Let's just keep hunting if we can. We are getting these, like, nice little skeletons. My poor Lich needs some better items. He's just all sad with his terrible items here. Okay, let's take him out. Take him out. Come on. I, I just don't think we have the deeps to deal with his characters either. It's kind of a problem. Okay, take out the mortar teams. That's the next best target. Okay. I mean, there's still fighting happening here, which is good. I'm not completely dead. Okay, let's pull back. We got we got we got the speed. Speed and aggression. Oh my god, all I can make is ghouls right now. This is definitely a, a bit of a sad state. I know what we need the dreaded frostworm. <laughs> let's build a frostworm building just just right now. Uh, okay. You know what? Or we just itemize our characters. Yeah, just give them some give them some potions and other things to kind of work with and uh, just hope they can snipe things. Yeah, silence would have been good. I wanted the skeletons, but I, I don't think it would have mattered. I think he's just ahead of me. Arm, his army comp is trading better than mine. I gotta get used to it again. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get back. Well, he's playing very well though, guys. Can't take anything away from him here. Like we can't, we definitely can't kill that that blood master. Okay, he's not actually called the blood master. I know this. Hey, look at that! I still know how to hit the coil nova button. The, all his characters are so tanky because of the because uh, of the uh, the 
the aura from the paladin plus the uh, inner fire. It's, it's pretty wild. Aha! We killed something! Don't worry, the Frostworm tech is on its way. Ah, we have a we have a priest. Let's go give him a, a little uh, Frostworm action. The dreaded Frostworm will come. The old world will tremble in despair. Okay, well, we're being mana drained. That's not very nice. Come on, give me the kill. Each kill I get is a skeleton. Unholy Aura gives you like a... Oh, I just got steel chaired! GG, well played. Okay, guys, do we wait for the dragon? I don't think so. Oh, my God. Let's play some Orc. Give it six to ten games and you'll be back in shape. It's going to take more than that, probably, but... At least we were competitive, which is fine. The drain was nice. Uh, yeah, you need a Crypt Lord and Banshees and a bunch of Tier 2 units. Yeah, okay, makes sense. I'm kind of out of the loop on things. Oh, man. That was a fun one, though. I enjoyed that. So let's go with... Um, let's go Night Elf. Night Elves are fun. I enjoy them. You need some sound foam? Yeah, I do need to get some of that. I do. I, I got some soundproofing stuff, but it wasn't enough. Like, literally, guys, the room I record in is like a, like a giant wooden room. It's so tough to soundproof. It's so hard to soundproof. Just in time to fall asleep, turn ASMR OP. Yeah, I got you, man. Uther with the steel holy chair. And this dude, Uther gave, gave me the business so hard right there. It was just, it was just brutal. Yeah, I'm thinking Night Elf for this game. <laughs> yeah, it's a wrong game there, wrong game there. Okay, so we got Undead versus my Night Elf. So I don't know how to play Night Elf very well, but we're going to figure it out. All right, so what is the hotkey for Wisp? You know when I have to ask what the hotkey is for the basic worker, you're in like you're in for a relatively rough time. So what are we playing? Undead? So I think we have to go for the coolest character in the game. And uh, do we go Keeper? Probably we go Keeper. Yeah, all right. He's not the coolest character. The death, the Demon Hunter is. What's the meta? Dude, I have no idea what the meta is. I'm so out of the loop. I mean, I know the meta from like 10 years ago, but yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. So, you know what? When, when, I, when I run into hard times in this game, I fall back on the haggard tactics of my youth, which were janky Huntress Rushes. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some sort of a Huntress Rush. All right, so you can go here after you're done. You can go here. Go, my friends. Go forth and prosper. Yeah, definitely need to soundproof the room a little bit better, though, bud. You're 100% you're right. The Warden is my favorite to use, but against Undead, the Warden is kind of bad. It's like it's too easy for them to just like coil Nova you and just give you the dirty. Yeah, so you, you don't want that, obviously. All right, so here's what you do with this build. You basically just build a Huntress Hall. You, you, you ignore the barracks initially, and then you just go for like double racks and just pump Huntresses until you're out of, out of breath, <clears throat> which is kind of the plan. Um, let's go do a little bit of scouting to see where he's at. All right, so let's get you to go. Uh, okay, yeah, so I think he's up here. He He's going to know a Huntress Rush is coming. If this guy knows how to play the game and he sees my build order, he's going to know. We can't build Look at this trolley shit. <laughs> what is this man doing? Well, we're definitely going to hunt him with the Keeper and get the free experience if we can. But he should expect this. It's all going to come down to like his control and is he actually like on top of that? All right, so let's go see if we can find that that acolyte. Oh wow, okay, he's going for ghouls. That's fine. Ghouls are a good sign. That's 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 a win for us. That's a win for the old man. Cause ghouls we can just hit with entangle and just farm them basically. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's grab you. Let's go say hello to some of our ghoul friends. All right, let's get him. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna know over here. Coil. No problem. We'll have some hunts out shortly, and then we should be more than okay. I wonder if he's gonna creep. We have to. We definitely have to harass and follow him around. Oh, you know what we need to build is a shop, or one of the ancient of wonders. Okay, okay, homie's thinking about it. Let's just be annoying. 
Because he's gonna have to coil the uh, the ghoul if he doesn't want to lose it, which is which is good for us. I'm gonna get you, dude. Do you think I'm gonna let that ghoul live? Not in my watch. Oh! <laughs> we got him! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We're just gonna go for like a really shitty mass like tier two, mass tier one unit build. Just hope for the best. I need to get the backpacks to like bring the goodies to the guys. Yeah, we gotta keep that constant pressure up. No, no free creeping for, for Senior Death Knight. Hey, I'm happy we got a ghoul. We're just gonna like sit outside of his base and just kinda keep pumping huntresses until uh until we get tired. Oh wow, did he just actually just coil me? Maybe it's a good play? Maybe it is, I don't know. I feel like not. Okay. We can't let him get level two. Oh, he's actually out of mana. Wow. So we might be actually able to kill this Death Knight right now. Or excuse me, this uh, Fiend. Yeah, he's out of mana. Okay, let's go. If I can get this Fiend, that's a huge win for us. We got him. Nice. Okay, so now Homie's got a fair amount of units. So let's pull back, and then our injured one can do this and then head back over. Great. And uh, you need to stay with the army. Okay, he's kind of low on mana. He's got all his skeletons and stuff. We should probably go tier two also, so we can get some better units there. Yeah, he's got 70 mana now, so he can actually coil me. Okay, let's do this and force a coil on this guy. Oh, no, he's going to try and Lord Snipe me. Okay, that's fine. Lord Sniping him. What am I playing Total War? Does he have any uh, dusk? He does not. All right, so now homie gets back and we heal. I need to do this because I supply block myself like a potato. This guy beat up? Okay, it is at the moment. Okay, Moonwells, Moonwells. Really screwed the pooch on uh, supply blocking myself here. Great, so let's grab some Potions of Clarity and get back on the wild hunt once more in the deep. Oh my god, I have like a bunch. I could have so many Huntresses. I probably could have won the game if I didn't supply block myself. It would just be, his army would just be dead now. Yeah, well, it's okay. It's been a while since I played. Old man's learning some tricks again. Okay, so he's down here somewhere? Oh, he, he pulled the camp to the north, interesting. So let's go see if we can find any fresh fish. Where are you at, buddy? Where's your army? Are you just hiding in the base? Maybe we can go get some ghouls. Oh, yeah, he's just hiding in the base, huh? Okay, so you go back to the base and heal. And everyone else keeps sending the goon squad up here. Uh, we could do another moon well. I think we're fine. We could definitely go get some level two right now while he's like kind of camping out in the base a little bit. I probably should get that other ability too, the one that allows you to like hide units or like get the little eagles around. Yeah, getting those those fiends early was nice. Definitely keeps his numbers a little bit more bare bones. All right, so you guys, let's go get this camp here of the turtles. Yeah, we're gonna get a shit ton of hunts. I should have had so many more by now. It should give me level two though, I think. Ooh, Mantle of Intelligence is quite nice actually. All right, let's go see if he wants to leave his base or if he's just gonna hide inside of it. We're gonna go Mass Archers at tier two and get a uh, Demon Hunter to Mana Burn him too. It's kind of the game plan. Uh, this camp would actually probably be worthy. Okay, can you summon some of these guys please? Thank you. All right, so tier two is on the way. Let's get the armor upgrades for the ladies. And do we have another Moonwell coming out? We don't at the moment. Okay, we'll do that in a second. I can only handle one thing at a time. Sorry, guys. We're into the Watcher, Talisman of Evasion. Let's pop this. And then you go here and back. Very good, let's get the Tome. All right, let's go see what's up. Let's go poke into his base, see if he's just camping out. And for the hunts, we want to get the Moonglaive. 
And is he still here? Ooh, this is actually a good time to dive his base. Because when undead are teching, they can't produce workers. So if you just go into the back of his base and snipe a bunch of shit, this will probably force a TP from him. Yeah, but we're going to dive and actually see if we can get some workers. Take out a couple. We'll TP in a second. Take out you. Okay, that's pretty good. We got a handful of workers and we lost one. And he can't build more workers in this time, right? So, oh, you know who we're going to go for is the Sea Witch. That actually feels like a pretty cool play. Yeah, very nice. Okay, great. So now we can start getting archers too and mix them in. We're just going to do mass like tier two stuff. Yeah, we get the, um, you know, I feel like the other ability is probably smarter there. But it's whatever, it's fine. All right, so let's get this, focus you down. We can entangle the big man and pop the Potion of Clarity. His army looks okay. I didn't get a good look at it, but that definitely, definitely hurt him pretty good, I think. Sea Witch and then follow up with an attack here. Scroll of the Beast is really good for us, actually. All right, do we have any moon wells? Yeah, we do. Cool. And ooh, we got a friend coming. We definitely have some hero levels on him. Let's grab the Sea Witch. The Naga Sea Witch is quite good for these kind of sniping builds. Okay, Homeboy has no way of saving his Death Knight. So we're definitely just going to like focus him down and just run away with the things he targets. Okay, now let's we'll switch it up. Start focusing down the other targets. It's fine. So basically, yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely getting a lot of value here. Okay, keep going. When when the uh, snare comes off cooldown here, yeah, we, we get homeboy. There we go, all right. Focus him, let's move past him and get us around. Oh, wrong button. It's the move button, there we go. All right, that looks like it's GG. Finish him. Chase the mannequin, no mercy. Now we need to mix in some bolt throwers because a lot of people don't leave. They'll, they'll try and turtle in their base and stuff, which is, you know, I respect it. Got to respect that. Uh, but let's just buy a scroll of healing and just be done with it. Oh, there was some funny business there. Scroll of healing is 250. Yeah, the Naga Sea, which is pretty sweet. Really good for like sniping kind of cheese builds. Like, <laughs> I mean, this isn't even a cheese, but this is, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess people, some people might consider rushing cheesy, but... No, I think it's just good pressure. All right, so let's go up to the base. See if we can find anyone. He's got no heroes. He's probably upgrading towers at the moment. Get more upgrades here in a, in a second. Oh, nope. Can't let him get fiends. Fiends are quite good against us. Kill the statue. Cut off healing. Okay. And, uh, oh, he was hard checking to tier three. Okay. Interesting. Okay, it looks like the Death Knight is back. Trying to hide whoever I can. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to snipe him here. Let's pop Scroll of Healing. And block him. Cool, got him again. Oh, still got it, sort of. All right, GG. Woo. Yeah, we need Brutalist now. Now that we have a win under our belt, we can just do the shitty memes. That, that's that's like how my brain functions. It's like you get a W and then, then all bets are off. You can just do any stupid shit you're thinking of. Let's go random again. We'll go Brutalist. We'll go. We'll go neutral hero this next time. Is this is this wow? No, this is this is old school Warcraft three baby. We used to do late night streams quite a bit here. We used to do it quite a bit, but it, it's been a, it's been a hot minute since we've done that. Yeah. Hunter spam. Yeah, hunter spam is like my go to safe strategy. If I'm like playing someone who I know is better than me, I'm gonna just do hunter spam with the keeper because I, I have the decent micro. I just don't know build knowledge anymore. Yeah. So I just got to do the old school cheese. Just double all in. Though it's not even all in, because Night Elves have some really good tier two upgrades. You have the Archer upgrade and the Huntress upgrade. Yeah. 
Okay, we're playing a, a Korean undead player. This is going to be a disaster, probably. Uh, all right. Undead? Yeah, it was undead with the ghoul icon. Oh, man. I You know what? I think Brutalis is not the way in this game. What we do is we go with the Fire Lord. Brutalis is, like, against undead. I don't know. I don't really see what he brings to the table. Yeah, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go for like a haggard rush of the gods. Honestly, late night Warcraft streams are my favorite. Something about it so soothing and nostalgic. I agree, man. It feels the same way. The it's not. It's not just you who feels that way. Yeah. Hey, Nicholas, welcome back. Yeah, I know all the Europeans are gonna be waking up soon. I haven't seen this in forever, but is this Blizzard's updated version? No, I play with the old school graphics because I don't like the updated ones. I'm here for my nostalgia fix, and like playing with the new graphics kind of makes it feel feel like. Nah, not the same game. It's 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 weird. Guys, you are gonna be stoked on the the mighty Fire Lord. The Fire Lord is considered to be the worst lord in the game. The worst hero. But I think he's pretty cool. Oh man. Does it have to be Brutalist against Undead? You know, okay. I told you guys it was gonna be Brutalist no matter what. I'm a man of my word. We'll do it. Oh, this is going to be so crappy. The one thing about Brutalist against Undead is that he can't be uh, hit by the coil. He can't death coil Brutalist. So so we can fake him out by building a keeper so he doesn't think we're getting a tavern hero. Right? So we're going to just like start building it. Okay, let's just uh, chill down here yeah. on this tree. And he's going to see that and then he's going to be like, Oh, yeah, it's uh, clearly it's it's not a tavern hero. But it will be. That is that is the great that is the great scheme. So he saw that. He's probably expecting me to bring a good hero. Brutalist is the name of a pit lord. It's like it's kind of a running gag on this channel that we get the pit lord because he's just such a meme. My chances of winning just go down the go like astro <laughs> astronomically worse. All right, so we can cancel this now and we can get some more archers. Okay, he's the pity. He's our favorite. All right, he'll he'll be here in a second, and uh, we definitely need to get a shop. Although, do we need a shop, really? I don't know. Oh my god, am I really blocked? Here on supply? Yeah, let's wait for the moon well, it's fine, whatever. Okay, build another archer. And, uh... Oh, do we want to... What kind of, like, play do we even do with the Pit Lord? I have no idea, to be honest. Alright, so, Pit Lord's here. He comes from... In case you guys didn't know, he comes from the darkness in the pits. And we're gonna open with Cleave, because that's my favorite way to play Pit Lord. All right, so you just go chill here, and you can go ahead and get back here. Do this, and uh, let's start creeping. All right. I use hotkeys in this game. Yeah, 100%. All my stuff, most of my stuff's hotkeyed, but I don't know, I don't remember all the hotkeys. It's been too long, so I, I have to I have to remember them. Plus, Night Elves, I don't play them. I know most of the undead hotkeys. Yeah, but Night Elves are a different beast for sure. Oh, Gauntlets of Ogre Strength. My opponent is done for now. Who did we get? We got... We got Asgalore. Oh, he's a real, real beast, real terror. Asgalore, the Pit Lord. I might not win, but chat will. Exactly. That's that's definitely the case here with with Asgalore, the the Pit Lord of the gods. He is he's not as good as is uh, Brutalist, but he's he's he, he tries. He's working really hard to earn your uh, earn your guys' trust and affection here. Oh, on the lightning shield. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, yeah. Let's do the uh, Howl of Terror. That should be good. Okay, what do we go? Bears? Do we go bears, Pit Lord? I've never really liked going bears. I'm not very good at it. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> I know it's good. It's just I'm not great. So, uh, Okay, got to build moon wells because good thing Spy Block doesn't matter right now. It's not like an urgent moment. So we want to position so we're actually cleaving these guys. There we go. Okay, what are we getting item-wise? Ring of Protection. We're actually getting okay, decent like items in the beginning. So let's go grab uh, the Healing Fountain here and then just kind of go from there. We can set you up too. Alright, uh, any items we want? Not really. Against Undead, do we need any uh, visibility stuff? I don't think so. Is there a shop? That is that, and this is that. Okay, so there's no shops here. So, Well, there is somewhere on the map. I just don't know where at the moment. Alright, Mighty Lord of the Pits. Let's go ahead and drop this on himself. Oh, you can't you can't target yourself with that? Okay, well. I learned something new today. Oh my god, I was I was I thought they were all attacking Brutalis. Ah! What are those ghouls? Okay, ghouls are actually decent. You know, and the funny thing is my opponent doesn't know who my lord is at the moment. 
So maybe maybe Brutalist will have his time in the sun, or Asgalore. Brutalist is a uh, discount cousin here. I don't know if I feel super... So what is the hockey for Shadow Meld? Shadow Meld is I. Mm, I gotta, like, remap the hockeys. I feel like the ones they give you aren't, like, super efficient. Who would win versus a Pit Lord or a Bloodthirster? Oh, if it's Brutalist, definitely him. Depends. It depends on who we're talking about here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna hit tier two soon. Why do I feel like this is like the longest tier, like tier up of all time? I love when you click on the pit lord and he's like, what tre treachery is this? Uh, can we even take this camp? I don't know, I guess, I guess we'll try. I'll try. Oh, the howl of terror, the MLG howl. Uh, we're going solo pit lords. We're not gonna build any other heroes. We will go for this. We'll just go bears. Bears are simple, I suppose. Do we want to get a Shredder? Yeah, I don't think we need to. Pendant of Energy, pretty useless for the Pit Lord, but I mean, I guess if we decide to go Reign of Fire at any point, it's kind of useful. Hard Tech to Tier 3. One base Pit Lord, baby. Oh my god, please live, please live. Come on, Archer Lady, you can do it. Solo Pit Lord. All right, let's head back to the base. Dude, I have no idea what my opponent's doing. This is gonna be such a freaking haggard game. Just no scouting, solo pit lord. Okay, so let's run back. Is it, there's gotta be a shop on here somewhere. No, it's just, there's, oh, okay, there is one there. I was gonna say. Let's go get the shop, because we need to buy our pity some like awesome items. That's 100% that's the play here. So yeah, we're gonna go, we could go Dryads too. Dryads could actually be really interesting with Pit Lord, where he's like tanking and they're like poking. Huh, some weird shit. All right, so let's sell the Wand of Lightning Shield and let's get the boots with the fur. Let's go see what's up. I mean, this feels stupid, but it is what it is. Okay, Drew to the Claw. The Pit Lord's a little bit damaged, but he's got a healing, some healing. Dude, look how fast the Pity is, just sprinting across the map like a true alpha. Okay, I don't feel like I'm ready to fight yet, especially if I'm going bear. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Oh, we're gonna go with, um, screw the bears. Let's go mountain giants, dude. Let's just do something really stupid. Okay, what is this, a beetle in my base? Oh my God, did he go pit lord? Not pit lord, but crypt lord? I think he did. Okay, so he's got his little dude in my base, cackling. Uh, I don't have room for this, so let's destroy it. And does he have an expansion? Looks like he does, shit. Shit, guys. The mountain giants might not be enough. He sees my pit lord now. Man, this game is going to be such a disaster. I can already feel it. Like, double double uh, mountain giant. <laughs> oh, God. And he's creeping just all good, too. Okay, he's got his... At least his lord isn't, like, super scary. It's it's the crypt lord. Let's see if we can kill this carrion beetle. Dude, he's, like, been creeping everything, too. Just, like, an absolute beast. Get him. Give me that level four. He's gonna see this mountain giant and be like, what the hell is this guy doing? Aha! Uh -huh. You have unlocked my level four. Okay, at least he's just sending this into. So we definitely need to get an expansion going. I guess that's the smart play here. Mighty Pit Lord will do his thing. We'll, we'll creep this camp. Oh God, he's behind me. Oh. Okay, that was actually pretty rough. We're gonna lose a bunch of archers. Come on, get him, pity. Buy time for your allies to flee. He just has like an expansion, like a bigger army. You know, just like, <laughs> just, just everything's looking good for him. All right, well, uh, let's get you here. You need to definitely get more of these guys. Is this, can I get this camp? Is this too greedy? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, he's still chasing us. Come on, archers, flee the scene. So I guess we go dryads too. Like dryad pit lord. Okay, let's go up here. I could run into his lines and try and get some value there. I don't know how that's gonna work. I feel like I should get a shredder too because our wood has just been atrocious. And our gold has been pretty good, but. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go grab some branches and beat down some buildings. 
Hey, uh, crack, uh, crack appreciate that. Thank you. Some kind words there. What trickery is this? Well, your workers are about to find out. Avast, the mighty pit lord. Dude, look at these guys going in on that TC there. He's going to be here in a second, though, and, and the pit lord might not be laughing then. Okay, this is too much damage. <laughs> I wish I... Wait, don't night elves have scroll of preservation? Or the... Not the scroll, but the... I, I should flee the scene. This is... We've done enough damage. Let's get back. We, we, we pushed off the mining for a second. And let's just get you. Yeah, we have the shredder now. Can we do... Yeah, let's try and do a red camp. I still have my TP, which is nice. Okay. So we're going to do red camp and like harass him a little bit. We're about to get a third MG. Like, I have no idea if this army comp's any good. I feel like it's not. Uh, okay. Yeah, because bears are boring. Everyone does bears, right? Let's, let's do something cool. Okay. So let's grab you. Set this up. Hit the red camp here. Hey, I mean, if the mountain giant's good for anything, it's certainly going to be tanking a red camp, right? Uh, do we have upgrades? We do. Cool. And then you, buddy, can chill here for a second. Yeah, we're like taking like no damage against this red camp, which is awesome. He's scouting. Warsong battle drums. Ooh, what do we get rid of for that? Probably these like crappy gauntlets. Warsong battle drums are really quite a good item, actually. Let's grab the tome. Take this out so nobody gets it. And let's go harass his base a little bit. And do we want to go a Chimera Roost? I think we're just starting to get meme a little bit too close to the sun. Like, if we have too many bad units, like, we just, we, we don't have much of a chance. Well, I guess we're going to be level 5, so we should be higher level than him. Okay, let's keep creeping. We're staying in decent upkeep status. Okay, so let's grab you, you, and you. Can you do that? What items do we get? Sentry wards? Yeah, let's look. Take them out so my opponent can't get them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you better watch out. Big man's coming. Okay, maybe maybe he's in a little bit of danger. Maybe he's not as tanky as I thought. Hey, look at that. He's actually running for my army. Wow. Nobody can handle the mighty, the mighty pit lord of doom, apparently. Okay, we'll turn back around and use another Hall of Terror. Okay, maybe we have to use the TP here. Certainly getting a little bit messy. We can't be coiled on our actual guy. We're getting a little grindage going here. Okay, yeah, we got a TP now. Okay, we actually killed some stuff. Didn't lose too much, it didn't look like. I need to be using the Abolish on the, those guys too. Okay, we'll have our expansion up in a second. Cool. Very good. Uh, do we have any other like more effective ways of healing? I guess not. Alright, so let's just keep harassing and poking. You go here. We do have the dreaded plague on everything, which is unfortunate. So our guys are a little bit beat up here. Uh, we'll, we'll need to buy another town portal for sure. Okay, let's head you over here. Let's root you down. And we'll be able to switch the workers over there pretty quickly. He doesn't have vision on us, I don't believe. So, Potion of Invuln plus... Plus uh, TP, I guess? We're really, really tanky right now. If we can get level 6, like I think it's GG. I think we'll be okay. So we're going to grab that town portal. Dude, I have no idea how this is going. I feel like he's winning, but the memes the memes continue to live. Oh my god, he's just super hardcore sniping my lord here. I might have to just TP again here. Yeah, unfortunately. I feel like our army doesn't have killing power. It's just too too many memes in one place. Okay, so we have an expansion up. I guess we could just buy a town portal from our base. We don't have to go all the way over there. Okay, he knows about that, so I think what we do now is we just base trade. So let's get rid of the stupid ring. 
and run up to his base, and then he'll go for my expansion, and then I, I ideally can kill his potentially with my mountain giants. Solo Pit Lord. Definitely a questionable decision that I'm starting to slowly regret. Get the resistant skin to make him a little bit tougher against magic. So, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna need to come down here. Or else I'm just gonna have an expansion. And you guys, let's get the, the haggard flank here of the gods. Let's get you coming out. So grab that, grab this, grab this. Grab the real big sticks. Let's head on over, baby. So he's at our base. We're gonna go try and like get his expansion during this time if we can. Maybe. He's probably just gonna TP back on it. So, I don't know, maybe we lose a building or two, but if we can kill this with the really big sticks, then... Yeah, what is he gonna get? Okay. Okay, so let's do whatever fighting we can. We'll run around with the Pit Lord a little bit. He's, he clearly wants the goodies. Let's move you back. Okay, let's portal. Hey, we killed an we killed an A bomb actually. That's kind of interesting. This thing has seven HP. And uh, let's detonate here. And you guys can go repair this. Now let's move up again. Yeah, we have the staff of preservation as an option. The haggard mountain giants will endure. Okay, can we entangle that mine? Doesn't look like it. We're creeping up along the side. Can't believe you guys made me play it. You know the reason why we're not winning this is because we we got Asgalore. We didn't get we didn't get our beloved our beloved pity. There we go. Very good. Okay, they're all still carrying the big sticks. Can we entangle that? Perfect. And you know what I think could be like a really MLG switch that he wouldn't expect would be like Chimeras. This guy needs to go back and chill. All right, let's get in there. If he wants to get the expansion, you know, we gotta we gotta make him work for it. Okay, can we snipe the workers there, please? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get away. Snipe the beetles. We're back. Did we save the expansion? We did. Oh my god, the expansion lives. Probably want to get. I need to like find some way to heal here. It's so so tough. Uh, Anti magic potion. That's that's actually pretty good. It's gonna be really nice for us. I guess we just gotta try and fight, guys, because I, I don't think this like stance dancing is gonna work. Because he's had an expansion, so he's like much more financially secure than us. So we're gonna have to go battle him here. I think and just hope for the best. Hey, thank you, thank you for the uh, for the donation. One sec. I'm just gonna go lose real quick, and then I will quickly respond. All right. Aha! The anti-magic shield has been popped. I forgot that item existed. Go, mighty Pit Lord. Cleave the Death Knight asunder. Let's even kill this Death Knight. Oh my god, why is that Death Knight so pimping? He's got so much gear. I guess my opponent's had an expansion for like 100 years, so it makes sense. Well, guys, the Mountain Giant uh, did not work so well. Neither did the solo Pit Lord against Undead, which is what we anticipated would happen. However... Uh, yeah, he did, he did okay. I mean, we almost got level six. We tried. <laughs> it wasn't brutalist. It doesn't count. Hey, thank you for the donation. I liked your corn build from the video today. Tried it out myself and had basically the same result. Cheers. Hey, I'm glad that worked. Really appreciate the 19 bucks. Yeah, no, we didn't, we didn't get our guy. That's why we lost. It wasn't because of any other terrible decisions I made. Mm. Uh, some good water right there. All right, guys, so I don't know what we'll do here. I feel like we need some orcs. Orcs are, are so fun. Yeah, they're always a good time. Yeah, the, the pity tried his best. He tried. The cleave was just not good. Like, the army was so tanky, and statues just, like, mitigate the cleave damage. Like, against human, I think Pit Lord first can be okay. <laughs> no, no, ask galore. Is Asgalore the new meme? Every time we get Asgalore, is it just going to be like, oh, that's, 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 we're doomed. We can't possibly win. Not with Asgalore. 
The healing of undead. No, I mean, guys, that nothing had of that loss had to do with our army comp was terrible. Like mountain giant, like dryad against undead. It just seems like a stupid idea. You don't have any damage. You need bears. Yeah, like I'm, I'm more or less aware of what to do there, but I like I wanted to try something off meta. I'm not like I'm not as good. At, I'm not like a grubby at this game, so I can't make like absolute trash things work. Yeah, we'll do humans too. This game's gonna be orc though. A lot of undead tonight, actually. Something yeah. Doing. <laughs> Something you doing? Okay. What are we playing? Undead again? Okay, yeah. So we go with uh, headhunters and chieftain, which is like one of my favorite ways to play. It's super fun. Or Farseer and then Chieftain second. You get a Chieftain as your second hero. Uh, I haven't played Elden Ring. No. You see, I, I never played Dark Souls or any of those kind of games. I've, I've heard it's fun. My wife is playing it a lot. She's been enjoying it. So I might have to give it a try at some point. But, you know, I'm, I'm an RTS guy. I like, I like strategy games and, you know, all that goodness. All right. So we'll set you up here. Farseer is probably one of my favorite heroes to use. He is just such a cool character. Yeah, Farseer is like the coolest. Foolish to think Asgalore could win, I know. I was a fool. I was a fool to have thought that. <laughs> Something you're doing? So let's go with your boy, Farseer. The Farseers often have really cool names too. Yeah, they're, they're pretty rad. <laughs> work, work. I'm okay with Orc. Orc is probably my second best after, um, like, human's my worst. I, I don't know what I'm doing with human. I mean, I can still win games, but, you know, it depends. Against a quality opponent, it's going to be a tricky one. So, definitely going to go get some harass on. That's going to be the play. Every time I make a voodoo lounge, it makes me think of that Jimi Hendrix song, Voodoo Child. Yeah. Jimi Hendrix has got some great stuff. I really like the song Little Wing, although I believe that song wasn't actually originally by Jimi Hendrix. I think that was um, Stevie Ray Vaughan, which I, I like Stevie Ray's a lot, too. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely take a look at Elden Ring. I mean, I've been watching the lady play it, so... Oh, there's a, a dreaded undead uh, scout here. What is, what, is, what is with people in making smart decisions here, you know? All right, well, anyways, we don't need to, like, hang out with that guy. I'm just going to go to his base. That is the game plan. Start with the wolves, summon them relatively soon on the way over. We need a second burrow here, which we'll get in just a hot second. So let's summon you guys. So it's off cooldown soonish. Not going to waste time chasing that stupid Acolyte. That's exactly what it wants. It wants me to chase it instead of harassing him while he's trying to do his camps. Uh, let's go split up and see if we can find him. All right, so he's not at that camp, so he's probably over here. Yep, seems fine. Let's get some skeletons. Oh, did I miss the skeleton? I did, that's a shame. Yes, give me the sweet, sweet harass, precious. I would imagine there's gonna be some other goodies coming soon. We go tier two. And the burrows, man, it's crazy how much longer it takes for like burrows to finish in this game than it, like in Age of Empires. It's like just a completely different beast. Got a lot of skeletons. If we can just keep like the the Death Knight's levels are more valuable, so if we can like keep him in check, then that's like that's like prime time for us. Yeah. So like now he's losing charges of like his wand. There's like other variables here which are really sweet for us. Yeah, he wants he wants the headhunter. Of course. Try and throw a spear at him. There we go. Very good. Yeah, the wolves are doing great damage. He's definitely getting quite beat up here. Yeah, he's just running in circles. Pretty micro intensive for sure. It's gonna tax his micro. Could go for some uh, some other dudes. The wolves are getting a little bit trapped up. So just drop some shots here. Kind of keep the harass on. I think we have a second headhunter. Very nice. How long can this wolf summon? Not too long. Yeah, he's still he's still level one, which is great. So let's grab another worker and set you up. Do this. Then back. I'm not gonna get supply block this time. Although I probably will. Just give just give me a couple minutes. Uh oh, this guy's gonna die for sure. 
Uh, yeah, he's going to have to chase for it, though. Then he might not have a way of saving this guy. A little bit of body blocking. Shout out to Grubby. <laughs> I learned it from him. I'm not as good at it, but uh, yeah, a fiend for a headhunter is a great, great deal. Okay, let's do that. Very good. Get some more farming going here. Happily take that. And then we got another fiend here. And then he's going to chase that, which I will happily chase you. Almost tier two. I almost want to go like raiders against this guy. Like, I feel like that could be pretty good. Let's go see if we could pick some workers while we're in here. That's going to be a nice grab. Yeah, because he's chasing that headhunter into the shadow realm. But like, if I get fiends for headhunters, that's like a huge value trade for me. Okay, we got another fiend there. Very good. All right, so now it's time for the big Chungus chieftain to come out. All right, so let's get you. Get another one of these guys if we can. One, and then you come out as well. Looking good. Oh, he's, he's going for going for broke here, huh? Yeah, this is definitely going in our favor. Uh, so I think we're just going to do Bloodlust. Bloodlust is like my favorite thing in this game. So we're definitely going to try and get some value with some Bloodlust action. Troll regeneration. That'll let us sustain our pushing efforts a little bit. So now that we've got him like backed up in his base, and I think we've outvalued him in many regards, um, I think we can creep a little bit near his base. Oh, he's got a Dark Ranger here. Okay, interesting. So let's see if we can get this Dark Ranger. Yeah, now he's piecing out. No problem. And here comes the Death Knight. He is level 2, which is unfortunate. So we did get some nice levels. You just got to focus down the Death Knight. That's really the play. Yeah, he's almost dead. Wow. Yeah, so he's not going to be able to come out and contest us here. Level 2. Now we got Chain Lightning, so we can definitely do some sniping. Uh, Stronghold. Yeah, we need to go to the next level. Let's cut this. Very good. Let's try and get like a level 3 here. So we're just going to kind of creep near his base. Go to level 3. And uh, good. Spirit Lodge is on its way up. All right, let's do it. Take down the big man. Go, go, Power Rangers. We're going to start with the aura just to move around the map a little bit quicker. Very nice. Yeah, and the wolves are tanking it like champs. Oh, no, he's stuck. Let the man get in there. What items we got? Scroll of the Beast. Okay, very good. Man, playing playing with Orc seems so so smooth compared to some of the other factions. I don't know if it's just maybe I'm like they fit my style. Nah, should have grabbed it. My other guy. Let's go grab the shop. Shaman are on the way. The bloodlust will be here soon, and we can purge the foul undead from these lands. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna get level two, uh, three, two here. I think, which is gonna be super strong. Uh, scroll of healing. Yeah, move back. What item do we get? Circlet and ability. Ah, oh, what the hell is this? We've we've gotten the creep camp to attack us. That's not good. I need to relearn the hotkeys, man. It's so bad that I have to like click things. Ooh, rune of lesser healing. Yeah, sign me up for that shit. And uh, let's get another javelin upgrade. You're level three. We're about to get a pretty big power spike. When we get level three, we can um, we can definitely uh, get the upgrade for the berserkers as well as uh, bloodlust. So we should be very scary at that point. How dare you? You gonna make me do this? Did that not kill it? Oh, that didn't have enough damage? Are you serious? Okay, well, you know, on the positive side of things, I know that he has uh, Burrow now, so I can just go get that and be totally chill. Definitely gonna do a tiny little Great Hall. Okay, so let's get the Dust of Appearance on you. And good, all right, so we got that. Let's go get our expansion. 
Just just get like a powerhouse army and like try and steamroll. That's gonna be the play. All right, heading up here. The tiny great hull is definitely not a bad idea. All right, let's go. Uh, third hero, probably a shadow hunter. It's gonna be the play. All right, let's grind him down. We can just kind of mouth breathe here and steamroll. We'll go get the red camp after this. Ooh, pendant of energy is a sweet one. Although I think it might be a little bit better on the chieftain. Although he's he's pretty much geared out, so no problem then. Heading to the red camp. Shadow hunter for heals. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Can't believe he didn't get that 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 hiding creature. What a what a troll situation that was, huh? All right, let's take down the level ten beast from hell. Ooh, it got, just got some fat damage on us. Look at this dragon turtle, man. We definitely need to take the fighting to... Oh my god, this thing is like crazy, crazy AoE. Can we actually stomp that thing and stun it? And chain lightning it, please? Oh my god, wow. That thing is a raid boss. I mean, the item we got from it is certainly worth it. We're letting homie tank now a little bit. Okay, so we definitely need to go heal. Man, if he attacked me right now, I would just be in huge... Huge danger. Oh, Lesser Scroll of Resurrection. That's kind of a cool item to get. Certainly deserving, considering how hard that camp was. Wow! That was brutal. And I got Troll Regen, too, so that's good. Alright, so now we got, like, the scary upgrades. We have Bloodlust. Oh, really? Is this guy actually stuck here? Okay, so let's grab you guys. Get that tree. And then, uh, yeah, we got a lot of guys. Definitely going to want to get an expansion going over here. All right, so we have Bloodlust. Not yet. We will very soon. Our workers are being harried by the local uh, flora and fauna. And we should be able to free this gap soon. Let's go ahead and get uh, this as well. All right, let's go attack. Or at least see what he's up to. Okay, so checking for expansions, and then checking for expansions. Cool, so I believe they have been freed from the trees for now. Alright buddies, you go up here. Is he still trapped there, for real? Okay, well, I don't have time for this shit, I gotta go fight him. Here he is, in all of his glory. How long on Bloodlust? A couple seconds? Okay, we should have it for the fight. Let's go see what he's up to. Ooh, nice play. Okay, let's drop this. Do a little chain lightning action on that guy. The old stone bull. It's going to keep going. Yeah, we're going to lose our chieftain. There's no saving him. I mean, maybe we could run him up north. I don't know. Maybe he gets away here. We'll have to see. If he does live, then that's going to be a pretty big meme for sure. Oh my god, why did he come back? Oh, I must have still had him hot, hot crouped. Yeah, that's a shame. Okay, let's get out of here. This is actually not going super well with my stupid chieftain getting caught. My mistake, of course. Uh, all right, so you're back. Let's grab you. Let's get a Kodo Beast. He didn't quite steamroll him like I was hoping. I was hoping that we would. Yeah, like one thing against Undead, you got to uh, you got to make sure to get the proper uh, defensive items. I didn't really have enough of my chieftain to protect him, so I paid the troll toll for it. Uh, let's go creep this nearby sh camp here. See what we can do. And that's really going to haunt me, so I got to have him go after this. Maybe Bloodlust wasn't going off quite like we wanted. Can we get level 5 here? I don't know why he's not following up here. Oh my god, they're all stuck there. Wow. Not that the one would have made a difference, but... Dude, that Dragon Turtle thing really gave me the dirty, too. Okay, so we're supply blocked. Oh my god, I keep playing like it's Age of Empires. I'm like pulling multiple workers to power build things. You can do that with human in this game, but not with everyone else. Okay, the Kodo Beast. Let's get the improved war drums. And uh, right now we need to scout the map. Alright, so are you here or are you here? Just chill. Wait for the Chieftain, I guess. Tiny, didn't we build an expansion there? Must have forgot to cancel it. He had a really good silence when I moved into his army too. That was really smooth. Okay, he's level 4 and level 2. So our hero levels are, are like somewhat comparable. 
And now that my units have escaped from their cage they were in, maybe we'll be okay. Let's get the improved defenses. Could go for red camp down here. Oh, hello. It's actually a really bad spot to get caught in. It's like super exposed. Oh, let's get another Kodo Beast. Because he's clearly going to want to snipe them. How's the old Stone Bull doing? Okay, so we got shops. We need to get to a shop and gear out our Chieftain a little bit better so he doesn't get sniped again. Uh-huh. And you can come down here, buddy. Let's set that up. I think we have some more, like, little miscellaneous camps we could do here. Ah, the old Lightning Shield. I know I should turn off Bloodlust, but... Yeah, okay, he's in the base. Yeah, we gotta go defend this. Oh, run, Kodo Beast! Alright, let's get you back. Got a couple more dudes here. His army doesn't, like, seem that scary, but it actually is. You know? Uh-huh. Let's get in here, stomp these guys. Definitely getting some nasty value in here. Oh, he's too fast, we can't get him. Joke's on you. We've devoured the beast from hell. Oh, you better watch out, Death Knight. You're gonna get you're gonna get the business here in a second. Man, that silence lasts like ten years. It's pretty crazy. When that shield wears off, I think we kill the uh, this guy. Oh, nice recovery. Nice recovery, dude. That was smooth. I mean, that fight felt a little bit better for us. Not by too much, though. Uh, how are we looking here? All right, let's get you guys back. We definitely killed more. Uh, what level are we? Level 5? Nice. Okay, so what we can do now is start using our wolves to be really annoying. We could just like go into his base. So check this, and then we go back here with them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool, let's get some more Kodo Beasts. Stone Bull is level four. Uh, do we have a red camp down here that we can get that isn't like just a Doom a doom Bull? Expansion's coming up. We could definitely fortify it with some nice towers. Uh, which one is this? Okay, he did get that shop. Good on him. He doesn't have an expansion though. Let's go see if we can snipe some workers. I don't have a TP, but like I feel pretty confident in my army's abilities. Oh, I just screwed up my hotkeys. Lovely. Okay, well, that, that should fix it. Okay. He does have some detection here. He's definitely chilling in his base. Chilling like a villain. Undead are usually quite villainous, so. Ah, the wolves wore off. Or did, oh, he used the destroyer to kill them. Never mind. I think he used destroyer. Go forth, Kodo Beast. If it's not more burrows, it's more gold. There's always something with you guys. There's always something. Uh, it's not as easy as you think to break through the undead base. I can't tell you how many games I've lost by just like thinking I had an undead beat and then just like blitzing into their base and dying. So I'm gonna play it smarter and get an expansion. Ah, yes, the Scroll of Agility. The most useful scroll in the world. Okay, let's run around. Oh, hello. Hello, my friend. Chest. Okay, so we took that guy out pretty quick, which is very good. Okay, summon some wolves. Drop the old war stomp. Chain lightning these guys down. Seems like our DPS is pretty sweet. Yeah, we're definitely getting some good trades here, and the Death Knight's getting pounded pretty hard. But so is Stone Bull. Yeah, I can't save Stone Bull. I was about to itemize him too, that's the that's the crappy part. Uh, I think we just power res him here, to be honest. Let's get the statue. Take out whatever we can. Let's get the Stone Bull back. Because we have an expansion now and he doesn't, so maybe that's 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 our, our win con here. Our hero level seemed pretty good, but let's go let's go heal up our units, because I just definitely took a lot of damage there, but he doesn't have an expansion. He does not have an expansion. And I do. So we just go back and heal and play the attrition game, I think. Yeah, I need to get need to get you healed up. 
And let's get a potion, and let's go. Okay, he's going to probably try and snipe the character again. Let's run you into the back of the base. Okay, do we have chain lightning? We do. Cool, nice. Take this out. I can't hit click that healing ward down there. Okay, get him. Get him, get him. Summon the dread wolves. Can we get you? That lightning shield should kill the uh, kill the, the fiend in there. Yeah, we have to just keep going after his heroes because he's just like sniping all my shit. Oh my god, it's so rough. We, yeah, he got he got the bull again. We have the expansion. Is there any way we can survive this? I don't know. I, don't, I really don't think so. The undead heroes have gotten too strong. This has been a really good game, though. So I'm actually very happy with this. He's clearly a good player, so as long as we're competing. Those damn healing wards he got have been really good. Okay, let's pull back. Whoa! Did not mean to send them out there. Ah. Curse the Baggins. We have, like, no lumber at the moment. Yeah, let's see if we can snipe some of these skeletons. We have the expansion. I would imagine he has one as well. Okay, let's just keep blasting. See if we can get lucky here. Um, maybe we go for raiders or something too. Okay, let's get in here and get in here. Because with undead, it's not so much the... Uh, it's always the heroes that get you. There are armies that you can kill, but the heroes are the big problem, for sure. I don't know if there's any way. Let's see if we can snipe these guys down. Yeah, we have our little haggard setup base down here, but... I don't know, I guess we, we can go to the altar. The chieftain might be back soon. Yeah, the merchant could have been an idea as well. Uh, does he have an expansion? Like, is there any reason for me to try and stick this one out? I feel like not. Come on, get him. Get him. Go, my preciouses. Oh, run, my minions. Do we go for the Helm's Deep, like, survival game mode? All right, let's just flee the scene with our workers. Still no expansion. Hmm. Is there any way we could, like, hold with towers here? It just all feels, like, so low probability. Is he going to let the other chieftain come out? He'll be here for a minute. We can hopefully keep him from expanding here. Yeah, it's going to be a hot minute before he kills the base. Maybe we get the get the Farseer out and try some weird like base trading shit. I, I have no idea. Alright, let's get the Farseer. Um, set up another tower here. See, there's no expansion at the moment. You guys like this haggard meme here? Just the lightning shield on these guys? <laughs> oh man. Is there any way I could like get... <laughs> He's chasing me with it. Oh my god, that's so funny, dude. We must set up and sound the horn of Helm Hammerhand once more in the deep. Yeah, if the Farseer could get over there and cancel this, oh man, he's he's not going to have that shit for sure. Alright, so maybe we try some weird raider shit now. Get the Pandaren for the... The Panda, I lost to him in the first game tonight, actually. The Panda showed me who was boss. Everyone was making fun of him, and he's just like, hey man, like I'm, I'm for real. I am for real. Yeah, he's actually mined out right now, which is kind of interesting. Um, okay, so let's try... Is my main TC dead yet? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, at least we got this up before the TC, so we can actually, like, do something with that. It's only a matter of time before he finds the expansion. We could hard res our, our bull man. He's up 5, 5, and 4, and I'm 5 and 4, I think. Pretty close to 6. Um, do we want to make more towers? I don't know. We do have a decent little economy going here. I think we just hard resurrect him and then we go and try and snipe his workers at his expansion and maybe like tower helms deep it like I don't know guys 
it feels over, but I think the, the joy, the spice of life in these games is to keep scrapping, even when all hope seems lost. We'll go power by our friend here. The dreaded bats will rise. Yeah, see, now he's, he's here. He knows there's a base. So let's get some towers up, like stat. Uh, how much is it to power res this guy? I don't think we have time for that ship. We're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, let's go, buddy. Let's take out some villagers. They're not villagers. Well, I guess technically they are villagers, right? So it is what it is. Aha. Go get them. Go, my pretties. Oh no, now we can TP. This is a disaster. Hey, we got level six. We got level six. Flee the scene. Oh God. Oh God. No, not the Lich. Not the Lich. Oh my God. Hey, at least we got all the workers. We need the, we need the voodoo lounge for the bat riders. Oh my god, am I gonna get away? Oh! 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 <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh! No, not like this! Hey, at least the wolves are causing some problems here. How long till they are they here, here for? They're here for a good time, not a long time. That's the, that's the meme, right? Alright, let's get you up. Well, we have our little helms deep. We, we certainly, certainly took out the, uh, the villagers. Or the workers. They're not, they're not villagers. God, I'm not playing Age of Empires. Um, the chieftain can go and resurrect him right now through the power. All right. I <laughs> run. Oh no. Okay. He's going to destroy the voodoo lounge like a thousand percent. It's not going to take him long to get through the towers. That's for sure. If I can resurrect this guy right now, that would be really funny. We have a fair amount of towers. Not too many. Uh, okay, so if I cancel the resurrection here, it's 180 wood. Oof. That's a big oof right now. Like, it's funny, because if he, like, somehow died to my, like, stuff here... Yeah, we do have the the horn. Okay, so one tower is going to fall, but the other ones are in a pretty good position. Does he have a town portal? Oh my god, I'm like lightning shielding my own guy. Kill him. Kill him, Anakin. Do it now. Alright, so how's how's the defense going? Yeah, it's not quite enough. If I had maybe like six more towers, I could maybe cheese this out somehow. It's gonna take too long. This was a this was a wild scrap though, guys. This was a really wild scrap. Yeah, he's got all these skeletons back here. The dreaded dark minions. The dark minions return from the hell from the hell pits from once they came. GG, well played. All right, so what we're gonna do is we'll do one more game with humans. That was a really good match, though. That was a solid scrap for my first games back in in like almost a year. I think that's I think that's good. Hey, Adizal, how's it going? Welcome. Yeah, that was fun. I, d I don't think he could have gotten away, though. The Farseer, like, because the Undead Army is so fast because of Unholy Aura. Mm. Yeah, if I if I had had twice the towers, I might have been able to win that. <clears throat> All right, a human mirror match. This should be interesting. Don't know what to do here, but we're going to have fun. Oh, man, I want to go meme heroes. Like, I don't want to do good heroes. That's no fun. All right, you guys, you guys want, like... Here, hold up. I'll put a pole. I'll put a pole while the hero like is in the process of building. Okay. Uh. Okay, you guys vote, but th there's not much time. There's not much time here. I must. I must say. You guys got to vote. Did that pole not go up? What the hell is this, man? YouTube, come on, get your get your stuff together. Do you want the sweat, or do you want the meme? Okay, let's do this. Set you up. 
You, we need we need something serious. Okay, so I guess I guess it's an archmage then. Oh yes. Oh Pwn, I'm sorry guys. You gotta vote for memes now. You have to. Pwn just reminded me of like the ultimate ultimate character. Yeah. Plus it seems like meme is slightly favored. Cause if I win with it too, that makes it even more glorious. Guys. What I'm about to what you are about to witness is is just is the, the stuff of the gods. We are going for a Fire Lord. The Archmage is the best hero, I know, but it's way more fun to, to bring these other characters. So when he finishes this, we can call to arms and go to the middle. So we're going to do a, like a Fire Lord rush with a Beastmaster at tier two. This is like sweaty and Mimi. It's, it's like a nice combination of both. So you guys, you guys will be stoked, I think. So footmen can come out here. I have no idea where my opponent is. Uh, the militia will be called here. The Fire Lord is here. It has to be. Okay, so he'll be here in a second. Get a footy down here to go like scout where my opponent's at. We're we're not gonna do like a like a, a early attack though. We're actually gonna like creep a little with him. Or maybe we start with the Beastmaster. Now we gotta go Fire Lord. Come on, who are we kidding? All right, all right, Fire Lord. Let's get this party started, and you go jump up here. Here you go, and uh, let's drop you out. The lava spawn of the gods is here. Footman and build a vault, and then we try and go tier two here in a second. I know, like calling to arms is often good, like for early creeping. It's been so long though. I don't know. It's been a long time, been a long time, been a long, lonely, lonely, lonely. All right, there we go. Looks good. Let's go creep this like other camp here. Uh, actually, let's just go to the next next uh, tier here. That is going to be the play. Go forth, my footmen. Get them. Oh, he's getting a little beat up, isn't he? So, Fire Lord plus, uh, plus Beastmaster. It's going to be pretty sweet, for sure. Nope, oh, no, wrong, wrong unit. Oh my god, am I getting attacked right now by a Mountain King in my base? Are you serious? The timing of that is very unfortunate. But um, let's just hide you guys here. What is he killing my... So let's grab a couple of you guys, call to arms. And we'll finish this camp and then head up north. I mean, if he wants to use a TP here, like, I'm totally game for that. Okay, let's have you hold position here. And let's just start farming him. So we got the fire thing on the other guy too. Hmm. That actually wasn't bad, believe it or not. So let's just keep creeping now and doing some of the harder camps. Um, we can go down here, I think, and do this one maybe. These guys need to heal, so we'll have them chill here for now. And I think we need one more here. So yeah, we got a TP out of them. Yeah, although we don't really have much right now. We need to we need to get our guys healed up. Right, let's power build that. So Beastmaster at level two. We killed two guys, I think? Yeah, I think we killed two footies of his. So as soon as we get tier two, we just get like a wild Beastmaster and then we just cackle in the night. And then we should have a pretty overwhelming force of units to get in. We need to get level three on this guy though. That's pretty important. He's probably saw the Fire Lord and is like, what the hell's going on here? Some some meta Mountain King action against the, the dreaded Lord of Fire. Cool, let's go creep. We'll let these guys heal up. Do this, do this. You know what, maybe we just go for his base though. Maybe we just go for it. We're about to get tier two. Let's get a beast master and have a, like a timing push. I think the time for half measures is over. The quill beast of the gods will be here in a second. Okay, so tier two is here. We almost have enough, just need to save up a little bit of dough. Uh, let's send you down here and you can go over here. We can find him and let's get the uh, Let's get the man, the Quill Beast man. And uh, just path units down there after that. Okay, it looks like he's over here. So let's get the Quill Beast. Let's summon the Fireman. Oh, buddy, you're in some trouble. There's too many summons for you here. Yes, he's blocking up his unit here too. 
Your, your thunderclap will not save you from the legions of Haggard. You may get a footman here and there, but... Hey, training footmen for rifles all day, man. All day. That is, that is the shit. Let's put the soul burn on him. That'll apply some damage over time. Oh, he, this guy doesn't have a TP. That's right. Oh, his base is actually over here. Okay, that's fine. So let's go to his base. The only thing is we can potentially run out of mana here. Um, so the follow-up to this is to hard tech to tier 3 because obviously that's the best idea instead of going all in and actually winning. So we're going to go tier 3 and get like some sort of steam tank play or some shit. I don't know. It's going to be wild as hell. It is going to be hog wild. Okay, so he's calling to arms, which is a great sign, because now we can start farming his eco. Let's use this. Uh-oh. We're trapped. We're trapped like rats. Definitely need to start clearing these guys out. We need our little fire elemental guys to actually split up. Let's get you if we can. Hey, you actually let my guy out. That's nice. That's a, quite a charity there. Yep, keep taking down the bills. Uh oh, the Beastmaster has leveled. Oh no, not the Beastmaster. This guy's definitely losing a ton though. This is still a huge win for us, I would say. Because those villagers, they're going to run out of the cult's arms here in a minute. Okay, Fire Lord. Oh, oh, he's regurgitating another one. Now we just farm the workers. Yes, good. Okay, we definitely need to get a blacksmith. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Dude, look at the Fire Lord just raining all tyrannical over these guys. Yeah, he lost a ton of workers. So we should be more than fine. And plus we're going to be here. We can even just go with knights. Let's just do something a little bit more straightforward. Just like power knight. Oh, no. Oh, we don't need all that. I, I forgot I had one of those already. Is he actually chasing me? Man, this guy's this guy's quite crunk. Oh, the deny. <laughs> All right, so Beastmaster will be back soon. I don't know if he's going to follow up, but he took a lot of damage there. He took a lot of damage for sure. So let's grab this. Beastman is here. The call of the Beastman DLC is upon us. The hawk I like as well because it can turn into like a shooting unit. Okay, so we'll start pumping out like double knights. Do we want to do like inner fire or something too? Eh, it could be okay, whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and get you and then you can summon one of these and we can start working here. Knights. Yeah. I have no idea how this is going. I think, I think we're fine though, I guess. We don't have enough lumber for like anything, so let's let's get some more lumber dudes. Cause, oh my god, I was just like so hyper focused there. I didn't even notice I was being attacked. Well, lovely. We're gonna lose Beast, beast Man again. The call of the Beast Man apparently not not doing so hot. Hey, he might actually live. All right, let's run to his base, and then this guy can go here, 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 uh, and then there. Great. And we'll just head to his base. Yeah, just go after some more of the workers if we want to. Meanwhile, we just mass a bunch of knights in the main. And uh, yeah, flash fire. Certainly going to be getting in there, causing some problems for the old uh, the old uh, economy here. He's going to call to arms, but we should be able to get a couple more workers, which I'm more than happy with because this is taking pressure off my base, right? Yes, go my minions, go. Cool. If we could actually get out of this without having used a TP, that'd be pretty sweet. Oh my god, is he gonna let me escape? No, he's not. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to town portal here. Oh yeah, his economy is looking pretty bad. Alright. So let's grab you guys. Let's uh, use this. Then definitely want to get some clarity potions on the gang. Cool. Knights, war training, and then we need to get some upgrades, and then we, we just go. We can just go now, I think. Yeah, it's janky, but I mean, it's kind of working. I would like to get... Oh, yeah, we definitely can't let him get this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh man, look at this. He is not. He's this guy's not having a good time. I think he's just mad because he's losing to the Fire Lord. He wants to get the beast. The man, the man, half man, half beast. The unstoppable force of nature. Oh, I accidentally pulled the beast man back in. His best bet is definitely just Lord Sniping. But I think uh, I think he's in some danger. Yeah, we can take this now, actually. This is fine. We can just creep this. All right, beast man will be back for the next episode here in a second. Cool. So we got that. Rune of the Watchers. Done for. Um, do we want to use the bail, like the bail fire ability on him? Okay, so let's get him back. Okay, let's get on you. Summon another one of these. Let's run away. Got another rifleman. I wonder if this guy has an expansion. I seriously doubt it. I seriously doubt it. He does have a. Uh, he does probably have a thunderbolt. Okay, so we need to get some upgrades, build farms. Did we get him? We did. Cool. Let's get in here with one of the knights to start attacking some some of his economy a little bit. Okay, looks fine. He's definitely just losing shit in his base now. The Beastman will eventually rise and do well. I should have just gone solo Fire Lord, although the whole epicenter of the, uh, the strategy is to basically have an overwhelming number of summons. All right, let's go down here. Like, he's struggling to kill one knight in his base. I'm pretty sure we're fine. What is this, a lumber mill? Let's get that knight out of here. Okay, we're heading on down. Time to finish him. Nobody can stop the might of Flash Fire. The the Fire Lord, yes. That's what he is. He's a Fire Lord. Summoning all the minions. We got the knights. Let's go roll in and end this guy. Go forth, my minions, and prosper. We shall burn down his farms. Although, honestly, diving the back of his base would probably be fine, too. Probably killing a shop is a better idea. Okay. Uh, let's get master training and then queue some of you guys up. Okay, let's get another one of you. Some of the knights are actually a little bit damaged, actually. Yeah, he's gonna. He's obviously gonna chase. Is he gonna try and snipe characters now? Maybe. Yeah, he might actually finally get one of my knights. Oh no, he's going after the cool beast. What will I do? Yeah, I don't want to give him that easy kill there. We'll uh, start working on the, the Paladin, because that's his healing tool. I have no way of healing those knights, unfortunately, at the moment. Dude, look at all these fire elementals I have here. That's some crazy shit. Oh, yeah, get in there. Take out his eco. Oh, he's going with an air force. Okay, interesting. All right. Well, uh, that was good. I'll take it. That's what he gets for being rude. You see, all of you who voted for the meme, but I feel like everyone won. We got we shut we shut down the bad manners. We got the meme and we also got some sweat cuz that actually felt pretty good. Yeah. That actually felt pretty good. Uh, all right. So, let's see if we can get one FFA to close things out, like one of these FFAs. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Um, for FFA, definitely like to play the the orcs. Dude, the Fire Lord was unstoppable. He's one of my favorite characters to use. It's so cool. Yeah, some, some sloppy micro with the, uh, the 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 Beastmaster for sure. I lost him so many times. He didn't need to be lost. Do Fire Elementals reset their duration when they split? Um, I don't think the original one does. It's a good question. I actually am not sure at the end, boo. <laughs> Presser phone. Yeah, that's, that's who it was. That's who it was indeed. One sec, guys.
Trying to see if I can get an FFA match. They're so fun. Yeah, why did we not do a skeleton rush tonight? I feel like we usually win when we do that. Oh, we actually got an FFA match. Let's do it. Let us do it indeed. Footmen are useful for sure. Oh, oh, looks like it like dropped. Your t your team is preparing to play an FFA game. Okay. Yeah, it seemed like it like was there, and then somebody maybe canceled. If you if you come back to Warcraft three, do Fire Lord and not Beast Lord. I did do Fire Lord. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Look at these guys. They have like the icons for playing like a thousand games, and I'm just like a haggard headhunter in the corner. All right. Well, this should be interesting. The Fire Lord was high quality value. He was. The, but the whole point of the rush is you come in at tier two with like two Quill Beasts and two Fire Elementals, and it's like overwhelming for your opponent. Brian, dude. Hey, don't worry. You can go back. We, I think we won two and lost three, which I'm pretty happy with considering I haven't played in like a year. All right. That's right. I don't know if it's been a year. It's been a long time. But um, yeah, they were close games. One of them was really bad. The Mountain Giant game was terrible. When we tried to go Mountain Giants, that was like really, really bad. But now we're in uh, an FFA game. So, should be fun. Should be fun. Player three has left the game. Okay, so now it's a three-person FFA. Which is fine. A three-player FFA is fun too. Four is much better though, of course. Um, okay, so what hero do we want to go? Because in FFA, you can certainly power up pretty hard. Do we want to... I think we go Blade Master and just go Super Saiyan Blade Master. They, they can be just really insane. Granted, I'm pretty poor at using the Blade Master, but I think, uh, oh, I know what we're doing. We're going to go Blade Master for sure. Yes, guys, the glory will be here soon. So we're going to go Blade Master Headhunters at first for creeping, and then we're going to switch into an Air Force, like using Wyverns and that type of stuff. I think that'll be really fun. Yeah, there's more games, Brian. I got you. I got you covered. You watched the last one? That must have been a long time ago, Brian. Brian is my uncle's name. Yes. That was a long, long time ago. Not enough Spring Alds, I know. Spring Alds would be super OP. Although, Night Elves can make Spring Alds, right? They can make the Ballistas. Let's do this. Uh, I wish I knew which which player was playing what. I should have been paying attention to their uh, their colors. Yeah. I don't know who's, who's not here anymore. All right, so Headhunters and uh, Blade Master. Definitely gonna be a very delayed build. Blade Master's gonna have to solo creep for a minute, which is fine. Cool. He's going to do it. Orcs are pretty good in FFA because of their ability to entrench positions with their uh, their towers. Yeah, we're going Blade Master. I'm not very good with him, to be fair. But he's so fun. When you can get like a tyrannical Blade Master in FFA with all these like items and you're just like this, this dark god, it's definitely very rough to play against. Uh-huh. Uh, can we build that here? No, oh, we do actually have stage for that. Nice. Give me more peons. Then we'll buy uh we'll buy this here in a second. Um probably honestly, yeah, I mean Critical Strike is better for solo creeping in the beginning. I know it's a little bit funky, but I think it's the play. Alright, so we're just gonna solo creep. Hopefully hopefully the camps I don't know what this creeps are like on this map. I have no idea. But we do have the healing self, so that's good. Oh man, I don't know if I can actually do this camp. We're gonna try. I guess like yeah okay critical strikes paying off already good, and then we'll 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 hard tech. All right go my dude, finish the the dreaded nightcrawler. Ooh nice item circling and abilities a great find in the beginning. Yeah you should be okay. I don't know if he'll actually like defeat the whole camp but he's getting there. He's trying his best. Come on defeat the murlocs. That's this one only does six to ten damage. If he gets a crit strike we'll for sure be able to do it. Uh-oh, 89 HP. It's getting danger close, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Look at the, the huge Blade Master there. All right, let's go take some, some camps. Yeah, so power creeping is the way here. Um, teching. You know what we need to do is Bat Riders. Any ETA on Immortal Empires for Warhammer 3? No, I don't think so. My guess would be three months, though. Just based on the... Like, that would be my guess, like three months. It was a month before, but I think this one's going to take longer. I just have that feeling. Uh, is there a camp here? Oh, oh my god. The dreaded bandits! Oh man. What if I just like lost my lord here? That'd be so funny. Okay, let's like be, be, be smart here. 
It is a it is a micro challenge. Let's see if I can defeat this camp without losing anything. I'm certainly being pressed to the limits. The timely level up. So we're gonna go mass bat riders for sure. That's gonna be the play. It's gonna be hilarious. All right, let's pop you and you. Get those heels moving. You guys come down here and uh, we can hit the shop real quick and then just keep creeping about. Um, we need another burrow for sure. Let's set that up. Dude, bat riders all day. Bat riders with the oil upgrades. Yep, that's that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're just gonna avoid major conflicts, set up towers in our base and just, and just have hopefully a pretty proficient blade master. Okay, that will allow us to creep for some time. Let's take out these nearby uh, nearby camps. Expanding too is also really, really good in FFA. You should always get an early expansion. Because usually people don't rush you. So I think that's the, the business. Sad you installs Warhammer 2 again. Yeah, I know. The waiting game sucks really bad. Let's jump this guy. Get a little backstab damage. Ooh, the, the double crit. The little kobolds there, getting some good work. Talisman of Evasion. Oh, that's pretty good, actually, on the Blade Master. That's really, really nice. That's going to make him a much better tank for these initial little engagements. So we'll set up an expansion, like, right away, I think, here. Yep, kill you guys up. And uh, we can get you coming over for the expansion. Ooh, yeah, level three, buddy. Let's go. Head to the other expansion here. Just kind of keep creeping. And uh, it looks like you've gotten level two. So first things first, we are going to go Bat Riders, which is so much fun to do. Honestly, though, we could go Raiders, too. Mass Raider, Raider is really funny. All right, so let's set you up like this. Yeah, looks good. Cool. All right, team. Are we here? We are. Yes, it is the exact same camp. Uh, do we want any upgrades for them? I don't think so. I think we'll just do this. We'll get the reinforced defenses so we can build some towers. Man, I have to say we're getting really good items though with this Blade Master. He's definitely, definitely killing it in terms of items. I mean, Warcraft 3 still has a pretty active community for sure. I mean, it's multiplayer scene. Like, if you just look at the whole scope of it, it's definitely probably bigger than Total Wars. But, um, you know, it's, it's a game that's been around a while. Total War, of course, has more people playing it overall, if you include campaign. All right, so that looks fine. We have the old uh, expansion coming up. We'll get the Bat Riders coming in and uh, let's get some towers. We're gonna need to like tower everywhere. Like all over the darn place. Towers, towers, and towers. If you go Raiders, you need, yeah. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> we could go Raiders first and then switch to like, switch to uh, other other stuff. I definitely need to get a Shredder stat because I, I'm gonna need a ton of wood for this strategy. But I think securing an expansion first is more important. We got reinforced defenses. Just Helm's Deeping and Creeping. We'll go solo Blade for now, although I feel like I feel like having multiple heroes is still just way better in FFA. Come, my minions. Come join me. Alright, let's get in there. Take you out. Nope, oh, gonna lose a headhunter. Don't really care about the headhunters too much. Scroll the beast! Can't scroll the BCU. Okay, so wood is going okay. Let's send the Shredder back to the promised land. So Shredder can go up here. And replenishment potion, huh? Take that as well, and then uh, drop this. Very good, expansion's almost up. Uh, our wood problem is gonna be fixed. I think we're going to go for Raiders, because it's just so much fun. Raiders are a great unit. And then we can switch to the Bats later, like once the late game kind of kicks in. Uh, red Camps are going to be tricky. We could solo creep this guy up to like five, and then... I don't know. The The choices are certainly endless. How much are the towers in this game? 110? Okay. We need we, we can't defend with our army, since we're doing kind of a meme-based army here, but um, we can definitely definitely get some work done. Uh, red camp? Can we actually do the red camp here? I feel like it's going to be kind of challenging. Probably a chieftain for our second hero would be really good. Summon the Raider Legion. So we got Pillage coming. Pillage is an upgrade that lets us uh, do some really hilarious shit. Can we take this camp? I don't know. Let's try it. Screw it. Who cares? 
We'll tank it with the man. Okay, let's go after you now. I feel like we should be able to take this. I don't know. Could be wrong. Oh, look at that guy. He has the he has the unholy bubble. The bandit. He is a he is a fallen paladin. Yeah, I don't really care about the headhunters. Like they're gonna all be replaced here soon anyway. So if I do blunder and lose a couple, it's not the end of the world. Cool. All right, let's get you guys in there. Uh, we can actually pull a couple of you in, like so. And then cut these guys, because we have all the extra workers. Are we going to get a little 5 from this? I wonder. Legion Doomhorn. Wow, that's a cool item. Look how beat up everyone is, though. Okay, the Raiders are on the way. <laughs> the Raider Nation. All right, perfect. Towers. We probably want to get some more towers in our bases as well. Because people are going to, like, when they see what's happening here, it's immediately going to be like, oh, it's that guy, like... We got to deal with this. Um, do this. Get that. Heal. 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 All right, raiders. So let's leave the headhunters in the base and take the raider squad. Yes. Oh, I'm so hyped for this. Now we text. I think this is enough raiders for our initial, our initial kind of poke. Yeah, we'll get a shadow hunter. I like that pwn. I think that's a good idea. Um, so what we can do to get below supply here is actually take out our headhunters. And that'll put us below upkeep, so then we'll actually save more money. And like, build a little surplus for now. Let's go ahead and send one of you guys in, set up another expansion. We gotta try and find, uh, find their bases. Oh yeah, I need to get nets too, what am I doing? I don't have nets. The undead are probably going to unleash a lot of fury on me. Whoever I attack is going to hunt me down. And do we have enough to get the Shadow Master? Not yet. We, we will soon. Scroll the beast chilling in the base. All right. So the nets are almost ready. Let's go tier three. Ah! We have discovered your base. Only I may expand all over the map. So I get money for this. Every time they hit a, hit a building, it's super hilarious. Get it! <laughs> oh no! Get it! Drag it down! Oh! We need to make a quick escape! Oh no! Flee my raiders! Dude, he is not happy about that, I guarantee you. Okay, a couple of the raiders got away. It was They knew it was a dangerous job when they signed up. Being one of my raiders, but... In the end, we did kill his expansion. Although his army is just super strong. Uh-huh. Oh my god, please. Can I not die to creeps? Oh, be free, my minion. We could get some, uh, some, some bats soon, too. This is not... Are you guys talking about Headstrong by Trapped right now in chat? Oh my god, Pone and I were memeing on that song on stream the other day. Shit's so hilarious. God, I remember listening to that in high school and thinking I was so tough. I was like, oh yeah. Headstrong will take on anyone. We definitely need to get level 5. Alright, so we got a bunch of towers. We have our little raider goon squad. We definitely need to creep a little bit more here. Oh! Why are you, why are you like this? Can't you guys just chill out? God. Okay, so we're getting on the big man here. Definitely not going super well for him, but you might need more towers. Yeah, the towers were able to fend him off, and we actually got quite a few kills. Net them down! <laughs> Alright, we held firm. for uh, Not for Sigmar, but... For, for Gork and or Mork or whatever we're deciding to go by today. All right, that actually didn't go badly, all things considered. Pretty decent little hold. Let's get out of here. We have we have we have bigger fish to fry than this this base here. There's only three people, so I basically just want to get expansions all over the place and just mine out as much gold as I can while trying to stay below the uh, income here. The, the dreaded Bat Riders will come in time. 
I don't know why that guy showed up. That was that was really strange. Oh, look, look, look. He wants revenge. Which I will be the one with the last laugh here. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, my God. They're all, like, partying at my base here. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> Everyone just sees my towers. They're like, F that. Soon the Bat Rider Legion will come, though. I'm just trying to bank money at the moment. So let's just creep this, get a little bit level 5. That'd be nice. Okay, um, other heroes. Yeah, we should we should definitely like cap out on heroes. It's stupid not to in FFA. And then, uh, yeah, you can take this. Hand this over to you. They gotta know that some funny business is on the way, for sure. They must know the funny business is, is here to stay. Uh, Alright, let's take you guys and go mine gold over here. Just get the static defenses. The static defenses don't take supply, right? So you can just get like a million of them. <laughs> this is not where you belong. Stop, dude! Jeez! What am I gonna have to do here? This guy needs to chill out. Just all up in my shit. <laughs> Killing my units. Do you have anything better to do? Once we get some bat riders, those, those flying dragons are gonna be like, no problem whatsoever. His army's very low level, I think. Oh, he's, he went lich first. Okay, that's what it was. So we need like a couple bat riders. Yeah, he's chilling in between my base here. Once we get like four bats though, it's just it'll like wreck those dragons and then we just we just butter his bread. I mean, yeah, he can keep trying to poke if he wants here. There's a bunch of towers. We will eventually kill this army, I think. Plus we have other expansions, so it's not a huge deal. Uh let's repair this and then come back here. I wonder if him and the other guy are like playing together or some shit. I feel, like it feels it feels a little What is the word the kids use these days? Suspicious? Sus? I think is what they say. Okay. So it's one, two, and then one and two. Oh, I guess I need more. I thought that would like one shot them. Hmm. Yeah, this is actually going really horribly. Oh my, oh, the other bat riders didn't do it. That was the problem. Oh. Let's just get back to the towers, guys. Pull him into the towers where his numbers count for nothing. Okay, now we can just chain net this guy here and just probably kill him. Okay, we got a TP out of him at least. We only lost our level one guy. Oh, we, we got a dragon. Okay, he left some scraps here for me. That's good. But now it's the time for revenge. He will know fear as soon as we get the, uh... yeah, I didn't detonate the other two bats and that, that screwed us up pretty good. All right, so yeah, Chiefs will be back soon. He's only level one, so it's not going to take too much long. Do you think you'd ever do customs? Yeah, I would do custom games. Like I would do a stream dedicated to that if I found some that I thought were really fun. Yeah, let's creep this, why not? That undead player thinks he got the last laugh. Although, we did force him back, which was good. And we do have two expansions, which is also nice. Um, we're going to get like 30 bat riders and just, just fly fly over this guys. We're going to be like the wicked the wicked witch here. Okay, let's go creep the red camps if they're still open. We should be able to just do it with our three characters, I think, now. And let's just amass like a hell, a hell march legion in the base. I need to know where they are, though. So let's send you down here, buddy, and then you can go scout down here, I guess? Yeah, there are, there's two other players. I don't know how strong the other one is. Okay, that red camp has been taken, not surprised. With as many players as we have here, it's uh, certainly likely for that to happen. Let's go see if we can scavenge in the middle. I need to get some levels on my, my, my Walmart heroes here. Okay, there's like some dire wolves up in my shit. 
Ooh, somebody creeped, crept pretty hard here, looks like. <clears throat> Once I find their bases, it's gonna be the it's gonna be the <clears throat> time to laugh for sure. Here we go. Okay, so there's one base. I know where an expansion is. Very nice. So you can just go scout down there, buddy. See if there's any scraps left on the base. This red up here probably could potentially be free. Let's build a random tower there just to make it super annoying to deal with. Okay, there is the level 5 man. Might be able to kill him real quick. What kind of gear is he rocking? Like, I don't know who to go after here. Do I do I go after the blue player? Like, the undead player doesn't seem quite as experienced as the orc. We do have a TP as well, so let's let's go see. This map has a big incentive to to get a ton of money too, because of the uh, shops. Okay, here's here's the defeated player. Okay, no problem. All right, so now it is time to fight this guy, I guess. Yeah. Let's hide the bats. Looks like the undead player is creeping near my base, which I'm okay to fight him, actually. We got, we got no friends here. Be gone, spawn of darkness. Oh, okay, I missed my crits and bats, it's fine. Oh no, not Kodos. That's that's the wrong unit. No Kodos, no Kodos, please. Thank you. Uh, can we get an expansion going here? Let's try it. Sure, why not? Okay, so now it's time to go after the undead. Um, I would imagine they have... We're going to need to get Wyverns too, so we have some actual ground-based damage. Okay, so let's get you in there for some forward intelligence. Okay. Okay, so that's that's good experience for us. We're almost level six now with our characters. So that's basically what we want, right? That was like huge value city. Yeah, we got like random towers all over the place too. I mean, he's got like one like meat catapult thing shooting at us here, I think. So let's get uh, some actual like attack units and then just wipe him, like steamroll him. If we have a strong blade master at level six, I think we just like insta kill him too. Yeah, you know what? Let's get in there. Screw it. Like, what are we afraid of? Yeah, we can heal you. Pop the potion of invuln. I just need to take out this guy and then I get level six. Oh no, not quite. Damn. Okay, I miscalculated. If I if I had gotten level six there, we'd be fine. All right. So let's get you guys back here. Get some wild riders. You definitely want to get the level six ability here. Yeah, he's meat catapulting us, guys. No, 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 no. Wait for the whole army. Come on. There you go. All right. Get the upgrade. And, uh, yeah. You could move in and attack. It's interesting that he's, like, sieging me. Let's go after this. Take out the Death Knight. I don't have enough mana to hex him. We're just going to have to hunt him the old-fashioned way. Oh, Blade Storm! Oh, yeah, buddy, let's go! Get karate chopped! Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Blade Master raid boss time, let's go. Sorry, sorry, Lich Man, you got you to pay the price. Okay, that's like a pretty brutal karate chopping he just got. He just got Steven Seagal. Oh, he left the game, did he? Yeah, he just left. Okay, so now it's me versus the other orc. So it's time to go back to the Haggard Cheese and just snipe his bases. Dude, he just got Steven Seagal so hard. Oh. Alrighty, so let's get the bats. Uh, do we have any more red camps we can maybe do? Someone grab Scroll of the Beast. Why not? I'm all like afflicted by the plague here, which is very unfortunate though. Just setting these up for like kind of vision around the map. That that was pretty fun. All right, so uh, for you, let's go ahead and give the scroll of the beast to this guy. 
Gonna need some healing, so let's heal you, heal you, and heal you up. That was pretty funny. That was very funny for sure. I don't know what this other orc player's business looks like. We definitely need more bats. Let's go like quad bestiary. Um, we're gonna have enough for a healing wave here soon. All right, so here and then down here. So we'll take that with the main force and then these guys can go attack from this side. And hopefully it'll work out. Cool, let's just set you up here, whatever. Uh, do we have more upgrades coming along? So if we can do a little split pushing here, I think we're gonna be good. Towers and Helms Deep and Towers and Helms Deep. That's the plan. We have a level six Blade Master. He does have the Orb of Lightning. Doesn't have like all the good upgrades, but. All right, team, let's go see what we can find. Yeah, the Blade Master getting the, the Blade Storm there was pretty sweet. That was definitely the Karate Chop of the Gods. So we need to like get his attention over here. Be like, look, we're attacking this expansion. Which obviously he's going to respond to. And then as soon as we get like a TP or something, our, our Bat Legion will attack the other one. Okay, so now he's here. So now this is when the Haggard Trap is executed. Because there's no way he, he stops this many Bat Riders. We're going into high upkeep because I think it's time to try and go pedal to the metal on this guy. So he shouldn't have a Town Portal. And the Bat Riders will annihilate these towers super quick. Okay, let's get that one. Let's move back in because he's probably maneuvering to go deal with the Bat Riders now. Okay, we need to take out the Burrows. I don't know which way he's going to go. We'll see. Okay, so we're back here. Okay, he's going for the Bat Riders. So now what we can do is we can actually use Bladestorm to kill this building super quick. It's like Super Saiyan speed destruction. Oh yeah, give me the give me all this precious. Uh, the bat riders are still lurking, obviously. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, looks good. Solid, and we just keep doing this. We just like keep kind of pulling them apart a little bit, and then uh, we should have more to go for the TC now. Let's see if he has more expansions. He probably does. This guy's been like expanding like freely for most of this. Yep, they can't be repaired. Our upkeep is super high, but I think it's okay because we're doing a lot of damage. Let's pour it back. I don't like this fight. Oh my god, did I get like hexed or something? Yeah, it was a hex. Okay. Oh boy. That was actually pretty nasty. How are the old bats doing? The old bats are doing good. Okay, so we're going to need to get these heroes back. It's gonna take a minute. Okay, we're at 80 supply right now, so we just like gotta do the bat rider harass a little better. A lot of our armies in the bats. That's why like our main force is actually relatively weak. He's got like a better like actual army than us. Uh, what we need to do now, yeah, get you guys going here, and then you guys can go here as well. Take out some of these guys, these bills. It's going to take a while, but we should be able to. He's going to switch to Bat Riders himself, too. I should probably start planning, like, a uh, tech switch in terms of my army. We could we could do, like, a Chad Torin, Torin build or something. Let's look a good look down here and see what he's up to. Yeah, okay. That base is going to get hammered. So probably just getting Wind Riders would be the holy shit. That's his main. Okay. Wowza, that is quite an obnoxious amount of towers, and his heroes are all five. So this guy was basically just farming in the shadows while uh, the other guy and I fought. It looks like, from the look of things. Okay, let's move down with our force. We need to definitely just starve this guy out if we can. Go see here, here. He's got bases. This one is, is pretty new. Like a Torin tech switch, but like his hero squad is so much better. Yeah, he was uncontested for sure. 
That is an unholy amount of towers. I think we can actually hold them here, maybe. We'll have to see. No, he's he's got a, such a mean army. Unless he like screws up and lets my towers like kill one of his characters or something, I don't see that happening. That was good. We actually just took out one of his bases. Oh my god, he's gonna lose that hero if he's not careful. You guys ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Everybody get up, it's time to snipe now. Oh no, he, he had some abilities. Okay, let's pull back. Let the towers keep doing their business. Give me the blade storm. Ah, we're in trouble. He's targeting us. I need to get out of there. Oh, I can't stop it. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, not like this. Okay, so we are actually in a little bit of trouble now. Because that did not work at all. Okay, so let's head over here with these guys. Uh, we have him back. We definitely need to go like do a neutral tavern buy on our heroes. Is there one even on this map? There is. Ooh, it's all the way in the middle, though. Yeah, so it's time to Helm's Deep this, this base here. I think we're in trouble. This guy's heroes got too strong. He was just cackling while uh, the other guy and I were fighting. That's the problem with three-person FFAs is that can happen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And we need to grab you. Have you build an expansion over here. We gotta just do what we can. Try and try and uh, get the business back. Okay, he's like 700 gold to resurrect. Yeah, I thought I thought I could do more damage with the tower shooting. I don't think he intentionally baited me. That, that would be pretty big brain if he did, but it didn't look like it. All right, so let's grab you. Head back to the main base. Let's start going after the towers here. I don't know if we have the DPS shit. Yeah, because he's killing the bat riders. No, we don't have the DPS. Okay, let's get back. We're going to need way more bat riders to make that work. So let's just heal up our heroes and turtle and try and, you know, snipe all of his expansions and stuff. That's like our, our only bet. At least we're... Oh my god, here's the, the undead base here. Hmm. Let's see if this one's clear too. Then we can send one of our workers over uh, over yonder. Yeah, man, his heroes are so much better than mine. Mine are just like just straight potatoes compared to him. Okay, how's this looking? Okay, the towers are doing okay, but man, oh man, he's got a lot of stuff. All right, so let's buy some items at the shop. He yes, and uh, we can do this for that and this and oops, wrong one. Whatever, it's fine. And uh, let's do this too. All right, let's go to his base. Yeah, we see the remnants of the undead. This is where the undead base was. All right, so we got to head down and take this expansion out. And then hopefully, I mean, he's still kind of struggling here, which is funny. Let's kill as many units as we can. Okay, uh, there's things there's things that are falling, which is good. But we definitely need to get his expansion, like hardcore. Uh, bat riders? Yeah, I guess we, we just stay on the bat rider train. And just hope we can base race him. And just, we probably need to get... Like, all the money that we have here needs to probably go to towers in our main. Because he's probably re-expanding. You go there. You go here, buddy. And let's go down and use Bladestorm and just kill these towers. Yeah, that's, that is the plan. Okay, let's go, team. It's probably going to TP here, I would imagine. Okay, Bladestorm was actually good there. Okay. He's got to be town portaling or coming for this army here. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, okay, he's town portaling. Just got to make sure he doesn't have more expansions. Uh, I am definitely hurting for money though right now. Do you have any more workers? Not really. Yeah, our, our, our economy's in the pits of hell. How many bat riders do we have? A couple. We got a fair amount of towers. Definitely enough to like hold for a minute in our main base. Set up a tower here. His main is going to be like an impenetrable fortress, though, is, is the problem. Down here and down here. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Not not our beloved our beloved uh, Hexmaster. Okay, well, he's 100% he's dead. We should probably just keep the slower heroes in our base and let the big man just run around the map and solo things. So this base is finished. I don't know how long it's going to last for, but it's it's certainly going to try. 
Uh huh. Let's go set this up. Go to the shop. Buy some potions of clarity and whatnot. I think we sell the talisman. Just get mana items. And a potion. Cool. Alright, so we're heading down to troll the expansion again. We have a potion of clarity. The bats will come and join us. Hopefully we can actually take that out. And we are eyeing... I know he has this one, but that one's got to be running a little bit dry in resources. I don't know why he's letting us get this expansion going. He must must be occupied elsewhere. His heroes are very strong. Very, very strong. Oh my god, look at that like crazy lightning thing. It's pretty cool. God damn, he's got so many towers. So we gotta wait for the Bladestorm to come up again. Yeah, Headhunters and like level 5, 5, and 6. I don't know if my guy can go Super Saiyan enough to solo all of them. Let's pop this in the corner. So we're gonna go in, use Bladestorm, and then use the Bat Riders to try and Helm's Deep it. Hopefully he just thinks like, I don't have an expansion and you know, he's gonna... How long until this is up? Yeah, this is our one chance to like cut through all these. So I just like Windwalk in the middle there and then... At least these towers are distracting him. Dude, he's fully upgraded too. That's some chunky stuff. Let's get some upgrades of our own. Okay. Uh, do we still have a Shredder? Oh man, the Shredder hasn't been working for a while. That's really, really actually quite bad. One and two. Uh, let's get the, the man here. We're still going to need him, even though he's not, you know, long for this earth. I could have several thousand wood if I didn't screw up. I used to think I was really good at Undead, but I mean, now I'm not really good at anyone. I'm just getting back into the game, so. Okay, let's hold position. Oh, come on. Stay in there. Stay in there. Okay, pull back. Maybe that'll occupy him a little bit. You know, we could start getting some towers here, too, to try and Helm's Deep that shit. You guys just camp back here. Enjoy your best lives. He's going to be rebuilding towers there very soon. And now this is the great defense of our time. To see if we can actually defend our main base, which I don't think we can. His, like, army isn't big, but his heroes are just tyrannical. Oh my god, he's actually using Earthquake? That's actually good here? Oh! Let's hit the shop before we run out of goodies. Okay, well, I guess you, you battle the wolves if you can. And let's get you, get this... And then we want to use that, and then a potion as well. I mean, is there anyone we can actually go after here? We're just going to get, like, hexed into Oblivion. That's kind of the big issue. Yeah, we just don't have, like, the stopping power, man. I guess we just, like, try and base trade him, but... I don't know what we do here. Yeah, he got the Shredder. The Hex Master is on his way back, I think. No, he actually got canned. Let's go down here. Let's see if we can take out this expansion. Then we just like Helm's Deep at this one. Like I'm talking like a thousand towers. But with the uh, earthquake that he has, it kind of counters that whole that whole game plan. It's gonna take him a minute to get through this. There's only 380 gold there, but yeah, obviously all my infrastructure losing that sucks. Okay, let's get start getting some burrows to plan ahead. We have the chieftain coming. Yeah, he's just got this nice combo of heroes that just went unchecked the entire game. That cursed undead player. Give me all the trouble. Alright, so we got you guys. We'll send in the big chunky man first. He's got a potion. And you're here. This is his last expansion though, guys. If like he were to somehow screw up, I don't see it happening, but... Alright, so yeah, let's get you coming in to attack. Then you come in here. Oh man, this guy literally just goes balls to the walls on towers. Which is smart. My heroes aren't strong enough to tank him like his. Oh god, run away. Ah, oh, there's too many of them, Captain. There's too many towers. I mean, do we try and pick things off in his army? Yeah, he's got more and more towers coming up now. I'm trying to think. The only thing we could probably steamroll that base with would be like Tarin or something, but I just don't think we have time for that. The Blade Master is definitely good. Just too many level 5 heroes. Too many level 5 heroes on this, this mighty champion we're facing. We do have two expansions, which is kind of cheeky. Definitely kind of fun. We're going to need more burrows. You require more burrows. Alright, Chieftain. 
You weren't very useful. I feel like I should have just let the Blade Master solo this game with this the way I was playing. Is there any picks here I can get? I don't think so. We can get some potions. Oh, let's run down here. We have two lightning orbs because I'm a noob and I bought one in excitement. Let's go ahead and sell it. Oh, the lone survivor. Head on over here, buddy. All right. Oh, man, we never even got boots of speed on him. What a, what is a disgrace. So we'll run into his mineral line. Here, mineral line. What is this, StarCraft? You come down here, buddy. Let's see if he's got an expansion. We'll set up a tower there in the meantime just to block him. And we're going to run in and do the Blade Storm. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's like almost out of steam here for sure. Let's get you guys in here. Okay. So we need 10 <laughs> Winds of Magic, yes. All right, so this should take out all these guys. And we'll do it now. <laughs> and the dreaded uh, Invuln Potion to get away. How many guys we got working here? Not enough. That certainly wasn't bad. Definitely wasn't the worst thing in the world, but he does have our uh, our number now pretty good, I think. Okay, Blade Master, run back. Oh no, there's no more. Staff of teleportation will have to do. What if this like Blade Master just like somehow won this game? That would be one of the most insane comebacks ever, I think. So we're going to go run and grab some items. We definitely need more towers here. We got a Helm's Deep it. Maybe we can like snipe something if he gets a little bit overzealous. But he's probably just going to remake his workers there. Oh god, mass bats. Getting a taste of uh, my own medicine. His heroes are just so good. Back into the towers, my friend. And uh, what else do we want to buy? Let's get rid of this. I wonder if there's any like crazy OP items we could get. Uh-huh. Yeah, we obviously have a level one uh, town center here, so can't do a whole lot with that. Let's grab that and then run away. Let's head around. We need a burrow so we can get past 21 supply. Oh no, the headhunters, they've discovered my, my ploy. It's actually a decent opportunity to get some picks here. Let's go see if we can get some of these guys down. He's, he's got to not be like super rich. This Blade Master is high level. Yeah, he wants to expand here. Maybe we should get this worker back to repair this tower if we can. He'll be here soon with his, his Dread Legion. That's that's when things get ugly. Okay, Blade Master's not taking much damage, but that's going to change here in a second. I almost want to set up another tower there, just for the memes. Okay, I mean, we just got a bunch of units for free, more or less. He's got to have an expansion like here or here. I would be super shocked if he didn't. Hmm. Get some more lumber workers. Uh oh. The bad boys are here. Hide in the corner. Run back to the Helm's Deep. Alright, let's get another burrow. You, buddy. How much is it for a TC? 185 wood. I feel like we need a shredder somehow. <laughs> he says, let's be done. Dude, come on. You got this, bro. You're doing fine. I literally have one base. He just has to find it. I mean, he knows where it is. Um, what sweet items can we get? Let's actually go shopping. Let's 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 play a little uh, little home improvement here. Let's be done. Like, yeah, you just come at me, dude. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Oh, look at the stomp, the MLG stomp. Oh God! Oh, I'm I'm a chicken. Oh, the chicken. Good thing there's no follow-up damage. I need to go buy some uh, some invuln pots and stuff. Repair. Earthquake OP. Okay, let's do this. Can we get that, please? Thank you. Okay. Okay, we got we got some value here, a little bit. Uh, let's go jump on the hexmaster because he's the healer. God, he's so geared. My opponent must have... Oh my god. His items that he got from just nobody attacking him the whole game are just ludicrous. Oh! <laughs> GG, well played. 
Yeah, it was a nice try, guys. But that's the problem with three-man FFAs. Me and the undead player fight each other, and the other guy just farms all the items on the map. So there's like... Yeah, it, it puts us behind pretty hard. I'll get you a Discord link, Chappelle. Yeah, I got you. Hold on. Uh, all right. So one sec. So yeah, Warcraft 3 streams. Maybe we'll start doing them on Thursday. I actually had a lot of fun with you guys tonight. If you did enjoy the stream, do drop a like. There's the, there's the jam. Hey, Chad, I have a friend who wants to get in. There you go. I got you a link. But yeah, that was, that was a fun one. That was a wild stream, man. We had a cool FFA. We did okay. We, we at least beat the undead player. But then, yeah, the other guy was the big tyrant who just rolled in and gave us the dirty. I know. The Blade Master tried, but he had three level six heroes. There was no there was no doing anything there. We did okay tonight. Yeah, not bad. I'm happy with that. So, um, you guys get the sneak preview. Tomorrow we have the Faction War. It's going to be at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So, pretty early in the morning for me. And it's going to be super fun. So, I am really, really excited for that. These shop runs, I know. I know it was it was noble indeed, but yeah, make sure to tune in tomorrow. We have uh, let's give you guys the matchups for tomorrow's faction war. Hold up. Um, so we got round one is ogres versus demons of chaos. So the demons of chaos are actually being allowed in the faction war, which is going to be really fun. Uh, then we have Nurgle versus Kislev, Slanesh versus Corn, and Cathay versus Zinch. Those are the first rounds of the tournament. So this is like the old school faction war that you guys used to watch on the channel. We're back. Uh, I just stream Warcraft 3 for fun on the side. It's not something that I want to do as like a mainstay on the channel. It'll be like once every couple of weeks or once a week or something. But yeah, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. PT. Yeah. That's going to be good. He had five mining bases. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The Undead kept raiding me, so I had to kill him. And then the other guy got too strong. 9 a.m. for me, but for many of you guys, it's probably quite a bit later. Thank you all for the fun streams as a new viewer. I never watch live anymore, but you, hey, I appreciate that. Respectively me. Hope you're doing well. Life's treating you good. Yeah, Faction War is going to be hype tomorrow. Uh, for the players, let's see. So Grand Cathay is going to be Human Boy, yes, yes. Demons of Chaos are going to be Hadri's. Uh, Ice Power Total War is going to be playing Zinch. Bob Tresh is going to be playing Corn. Random Nix is going to be playing Kislev. Uh, Anticity is actually playing on Nurgle, which is hilarious. And then Ogres are led by Grom Brindle, and Slanesh is going to be Loopy. Super hyped, super hyped. Yeah, a lot of, lot of big... Top talent players. Should be great. When am I finishing finishing the head-to-head -head with Pwn? Probably on Tuesday, but maybe on the week, maybe on like Sunday as well. But Tuesday is what we're looking at, so I'm gonna go snore like the heathen kings of old. I do, I do. But yeah, whenever Pwn's free, he'll let me know. Glory to Bellacor. Bellacor is gonna be getting played tomorrow. He is really strong. Yeah, we we did some testing with him, so. Alright, guys, I appreciate all of you. Hopefully you had fun with the Warcraft 3. I know it's different, but uh it's fun to mix it up every now and then. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for the donations and support as always. And uh that's it for the night. Cheers. <laughs>